in case you missed it, this is part two of my 12th of March six year anniversary celebration stream. If you haven't seen the first part, you can find that on my channel already. Uh, this is part two. So if you get a little bit confused when I'm like referring to previous stuff, that might be why. Up to you whether you check them both out. Totally fine either way, but you can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. You can add a slash schedule to the end of that if you'd like to see when I'll be live, going live, starting stream in your time zone because I suck at conversions. And if you would like to follow me on social media, you can scroll down into the description box where you've got my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Discord. I think there's a Discord link down there. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but Instagram in particular is the social media I'm trying to focus on at the moment, trying to build that up, build some, some reach and engagement and brand deals, maybe? I'd like to be full-time. So if you wouldn't mind throwing me a follow there, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, enjoy the VOD. Remember, must be following to win. And must have an Australian shipping address. Because it'll be shipped directly by Logitech. And they will not ship to anyone outside of Australia, unfortunately. Not at this point, anyway. Maybe in the future. Not at the moment. not gonna screw with a, rela a relationship like that. Like, I'm just, I'm not gonna, it's not worth losing that kind of connection. Um. <laughs> Excitement and anticipation in the room is palpable. I'm so glad. Excitement is good. It's good. Yay! Or anything? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's not worth it. Look, one day, one day I'll be at the point where I'll be able to speak to them and say, hey, would you ship it if I pay shipping or whatever? Um, but at this point I'm, uh, I don't have the ability to do that. But maybe one day. Just keep working. Keep working and we'll get there one day. All right, entries have stopped for the giveaway. I'm just gonna fish up this last little splash. One moment, please. I'm so sorry. I know, this is killing everybody. Coin operated, do you have an Australian shipping address? You do? Fantastic, well congratulations. You have won a Logitech G305 mouse in Lilac. I will reach out to you uh, either after the stream today or like tomorrow morning-ish, depending on like if I'm wrecked <laughs> after stream, uh, and I will get your shipping address from you, and I'll pass that on to Logitech, and they will ship it to you directly. Uh, it won't go through me; it'll it'll go all through them. But I'll grab uh, your details later on. Um, yes, congratulations! Big congrats! Lovely Saturday evening surprise. Absolutely, absolutely. Fantastic! <laughs> you seem a little stunned, Quinn. <laughs> we get six more people to, do to donate 2k embers or anyone at all to donate any amount, correct? Shah Farm stream is so close to being completed. If you click the little purple campfire underneath chat, there's a bar in there, a little banner that says Shah Farm. If we reach 100% on that community challenge, next month I will have a Wednesday and a Friday stream, two of them, uh, where I will go and throw all 50 of my characters at Shah to try to get that mount. Um, lots of suffering. It'd be fantastic, for you guys at least. So yes, if you would like to see potentially screaming and yelling when the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent drops, now is the time to chip in your embers. Up 
to 2k total. Correct. So if you've chipped in before and it was like 250 or something and you've earned more embers since then, you can put more embers in. So that, I think my water bottle is empty again. That's... Yep. Means I've drunk another 500 water. And no wonder I am drowning. <clears throat> Remember counts, they do indeed. Yes, you get them back in the insect in the exceptionally unlikely event we don't make it. If it if it fails, then um yeah, everyone gets their embers back. With headphones on, fantastic dupe, welcome back. Giveaway I entered and didn't win. Ah, uh, there have been a few. Uh, it depends on when you entered it. <laughs> we've had one every hour on the hour. We've had six, and we have six giveaways to go. Excuse me, one from about four minutes ago. Uh, a mouse. G305 wireless lilac mouse from Logitech. Chat into <laughs> love it, brilliant. You didn't have uh, you didn't have the captions on. actual quest quests available. Interesting. Battle time! Ah, gotcha. Driving captions is dangerous. Fair. I wasn't sure how you were viewing. Some driving, yeah, <laughs> good. Good. much to do in Zerath Motors. I wonder how many of the things in here are like double ups and it'll cross it off in multiple um, categories when you get it. Zombie, Zam, Landar, Zem, and Seeker, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, okay, so I can't place either of the things I need to, so I'm just gonna keep plopping down my flag bearer and getting them scrolls. 380 to go, four and a bit max donations. Oh my goodness. So you guys got, oh, dupe, yes. Amazing. In the bucket they go, 369. Oh dear. Add any amount as many times as we want. Correct. 37 embers. Oh no, dupe. Oh no. It's alright. If we have any more um, resubs or donations or bits or whatever, you get to wager them on a on a prediction. Might be able to get some extras. It's fast, right, BD? Zoom, zoom. 
have a cast active. Oops. Oh, goodness. Can I please just have my strange group? I would very much like for it to drop. One thousand one hundred and seventy. Getting there. Let me confer with my sources. No. <laughs> Please, Sam, I just want the mount. Once this drops, I have to go through a whole bunch of other steps as well. Some of which involve fishing. I have to use debug mode to be able to see the steps. That's the next thing I have to go, go coil flank, the coil fang reservoir and fish up the pungent blobfish. Smells as awful as it looks. Good. Let's keep going down 50. Yeah, because because you're doing FFA. When you're doing a free-for-all, you spend 50 to join it. No, yeah, you you're you're spending them. Yep. <laughs> Goodness, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And congratulations to Coin Operated as being gifted the sub, the random sub. Amazing, Alina. Thank you for your generosity. I'm gonna grab out a a bean. Splash. Okay. Uh do you hear that? 19 April is new expansion. It's the announcement for the new expansion, yes. That's right, Mesh. Correct. Obviously it's not coming out then. <laughs> uh, but it is when they will let us know what it is and what the basis, basics of the storyline will be. So who's the real winner here? I wish I wish it had dropped after 69 attempts. That would be nice. I'm not trying to do this. How you win. Got it. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. All right. Here we go. Start prediction. Yum or yuck? Will this be a tasty jelly bean or an icky jelly bean? In a tiny edition. I have the name New Azeroth. Uh, I'm sorry if that's a reference to something. I I don't know what it is, but um, yeah. <laughs> um. Thank you, Seeker, for continuing to campaign for more embers for the Shah Farm streams. Ah, oh, amazing. 371k. So close. So, so close. Maybe when it hits 100, I'll actually get my strange goop. <laughs> 1,188 casts. This is fine. Two endless smidge heroes in the room. 
Ah, dear. Hear me. Ah, oh, this is done. Okay. Oh, good lord. I don't have any drink. Oh, I've run out. God damn it. Hmm. Oh, good lord, that was horrible. I think that was stink bug. It's nasty. Yeah, <laughs> Shiba ran out of space. No more characters. Ah, oh, I can still taste it. God, X, I still have like 17 hydrates, and I need to get another bottle of water. But yeah, it was really bad. Mix into song, I need a hero. Fantastic. Good. Wonderful. Very good now, call for making you run out of space. Oh no, Shiva. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, that chest keeps popping up again, and I'm gonna keep looting it. How many broken fishing poles I've fished up? I think Jazz has contributed. I thought I saw him do it before. Could be wrong though. this year. Oh no. Three hundred and seventy one K. Do I need to bump up how much these these streams cost? This is the 1,200th cast. No. Champion! I've been looking everywhere for you to donate embers. Yep. Magni Bronzebeard. His interpretation of I Need a Hero titled I Need a Champion. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh no. Goodness gracious me. hundred costs. <laughs> the wounds champion. Yep. Go. <laughs> uh, best of luck with that seeker. See you soon. I really don't want this to be a 12 hour stream of fishing, but I swear to god, I swear to god. I would get to 2400 casts, roughly. It was in a whole, it was a whole entire stream of fishing. No, <laughs> no. This is not the strange goop you're looking for. 
I really hope that Rarity like screams and yells at you when it drops. Like it's supposed to. Because if I missed it, I would just be devastated. Your earrings or something? I did that! I did that. This was a different computer item that drops. I can't break it. Oh, goodness gracious. Can you please retail or classic? Sorry, I'm well noob. Uh, I'm currently in Zerith Mortis, which is a retail only zone. Um, yeah, I play retail. Welcome on in, man. Ah, dear. Down. I'm being loud, no, but we'll start it somewhere. Correct. Correct. Do they have a new. A, do they have a category for classic now? Or not? No, it doesn't seem like they do. Yeah, that's a little upsetting. That'd definitely be useful. Um, that was the third time trying to lead off your sound. Hey, look, three in in six and a bit hours is not bad. That is a pretty good track record. That is pretty good. I just want my mount. I just, I just want a mount. Let me mount farm. Let me mount collect. Why you know? Expecting many more. Yeah, right. Like doing real bloody well. Monday RNG replies, look. No. I have honestly, I have been so tempted to just like bugger it. Mount farm, four days a week. Let's get every mount in the game. Let's just get it done. Um, but I have a feeling I'd lose a lot of viewers if I did that. <laughs> when I went through trouble of fishing up the pond nettle, should get a 50 cent bonus like fishing up any future mount. Yes, Taz. Especially those of who those for whom it took 4,713 casts. I have bad luck with me with with fishing stuff by the sounds of it. Got bandages at this point. Oh no. Said they got it in 10k. Um, Jackie was in earlier and said that it took them 4k. To fish, yes, K. Join me. <laughs> Intense it took for my turtle. You're right there, Jess. You okay? Do you, do you need a hug? What happened? Oh, you can't see it. You gotta refresh. I can see it from my end.
Uh, I didn't do the fun now, but it took me from one to max fishing and legion to fish up that damn artifact skin. I can kind of empathize. It's HS in particular. Wonderful. Oh, you paladin one? Gotcha, Taz. Awesome. Well done, though. Look, setting your mind to anything and then going and achieving it, regardless of difficulty, is, is awesome. It's a really good thing to do. Hey, Adub, how you going? I don't even know what's going on in this game anyway. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling I would lose a fair few. Oh, there's the other piece of paper. I was like, I've lost a, I've lost a giveaway slip. I thought I'd put it back in the jar and I was a bit nervous, but I found it on the floor. Good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd also get a little bored, like burnt out doing just mounts. I think having that rotation, it means I'm being less productive, but it also means that like my interest doesn't wane. It's also, oh, well done, Shiba. Well done. It's just... Great, this is small. <clears throat> and Corgi's the only critter shape I'll ever use. Fair. So bad. You can do it, channel. I believe in you. up after I will. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Six years, yep. Six years that I've been streaming. How ridiculous ever. Hello. How are you going? It's just so silly. The poster item. I just talk to you for a little bit. It's a bit sparkle. Well, technically, it's been six years, two weeks, and a half. Because it's the 24th of Feb, it's my anniversary date. I was going to do this on the 26th, but then I was so sick that I couldn't speak. I ended up going on a 10-day course of antibiotics because I was so sick. Uh, and then the 5th of March, uh, the floods had happened. And we still didn't have mains power. We were still running the entire apartment building off a single generator. Um, so I didn't have the power to be able to power all the bits and pieces and, and stream without potentially causing a brownout in the rest of the building or even a blackout, uh, which I didn't want to do. I didn't want to be that asshole. So... Now we're here. Belated, but that's, yeah. Belated, but we're here. Um, does that mean we've known each other five years or six? That is a very good question. I have no idea. Do you remember... Did you follow me? You must have unfollowed me at some point, because it only says here you've been following since December 4th, 2021, which is only a couple months ago, but that's not correct. 
Um, hang on. We've got... Uh, 593 messages. Give me, let me see if I can find. It looks like the first message you sent in my chat was a hey guys emote and at fiyama29 and that was on the 22nd of october 2017. so it looks like four four years four months ish four years five months ish but i don't know if we were interacting outside of twitch prior to interacting on twitch i can't remember it's too long ago Ah, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Murder on my back. Doesn't that be really this one? Brilliant. Did quite the ordeal in Fears Neck of the Woods? Yeah, it has been a bit of a mess, eh? <laughs> Name change. Yep, the hours. Uh, the, the following doesn't affect it, um, but the hours you've, seen, you've watched does uh, affect the. Uh, it was affected by the name change. Um, if you changed your name, it might have affected things as well. Six is mid November. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. Like, I'm not offended. Like, <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, yeah, that makes sense. First greeting was. Uh, I think my first thing in chat was asking if you wanted a CG loot card, potentially. Um, okay. Take a little while because Lando has quite a few more messages sent than uh, Hyper does. Yeah, this is gonna take entirely too long. Every time it's like reloading a new page, it's only going back like a week. So that's gonna take entirely too long. Um, I don't think there's a way to extract that, like as a document or something. Uh, so they, who the heck needs that? I know, right? The auction house. Who if we could see some marine stats on these? It would be, it would be. Are you sure we knew each other on Twitter before Twitch? Probably. Is there some kind of like Twitter relationship history thing? You know, like on Facebook, you can see the relationship between two people. What is your... 
potentially. Potentially. At twenty sixteen on Twitch. Ah, uh, Twitter. I think that's September. Start of September twenty sixteen. According to this. There you go. One more person to join Embers? Oh gosh. If it got completed, Seeker would just go bananas. That would be pretty awesome. But yeah, I had to log into a bloody website for it to tell me. Um, but I can always, you know, retract my missions and whatnot. I know about her. <laughs> well done. Well done, killing blow. Yeah, you enjoy doing that, don't you, Sam? <laughs> there you go. In April, I will do two streams to get through all 50 tunes. Uh, against Shah. It's always them. Always them. Holding out. One thousand two hundred and seventy-four. That green is taking on a decidedly yellow hue, and I am unhappy about this. And uh, Zem and Fairy, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Did you see Luju you went and got food? I hope you enjoy your food, Yori. I hope it's delightful and delicious. I did. <laughs> there we go. Centurion, right? It is. Good. Well done. Yep, Zam was holding out on us again. And as soon as it dropped below 2k required. <laughs> you pork belly bow from Asia. Ooh. Wow. 
What? What is that? I need information on this, please. Excuse me. We'll be back soon. Enjoy. Enjoy. Sneeze. Let's come as fast as possible. I ask them to remove it. Yeah. Yet to number. We'll report back. Please do. Please do. Oh, really? Um. <laughs> On top of beef, two flame go 100%. Aussie beef patty stopped with melted cheese, pork belly strips. Interesting. So it's like many meats. Pork belly burger is basically a bacon deluxe with spicy sauce and pork belly. So, but instead of bacon, it's pork belly, yeah? That honestly sounds really tasty, though. In my ATD setting, some of the text is overlapping. Any idea on how I can fix that? Like, as in when you're in here, they're overlapping. Which tab? It might be a, um... It might be an issue with how your UI is scaled. Like, if you're in... Uh, there's a there's a resolution scale in here, um, and then there's another one elsewhere. I think Maybe an interface. Maybe not. But yeah, you can you can scale whether th like things are bigger or smaller, um, in case of you know like needing to see things bigger because your eyes have issues or something or wanting things smaller so you can fit more stuff on the screen or whatever it happens to be. Um, and that might be what's doing it. It's not scaling properly with the add-on. But beyond that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, one burger that's 30% your daily intake for calories. I mean, if you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 30% is fine. At least you have 35% for lunch and breakfast each. Right? That's how that works. Just can't have fries. Or a drink. Oh, this is water. How do I get a multitask bar for you? Are you talking about all the different buttons I have down here? I use LVI as an add-on, uh, and that gives me like a ton of things, a ton of boxes where I can put stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you can do it with the native UI though. Uh, but yeah, I use LVI. E L V U I. Welcome on in. Both venom and number. Uh, no, it still has bacon. Oh, bacon and pork belly. Oh, because that's not what dupes copy paste said. It just says melted cheese, pork belly strips, signature spicy sauce, tomato and lettuce on toasted sesame seed bun. And plus, of course, the two flame grilled 100% Aussie beef patties. Interesting. It's 2610 KJ. Oh, good lord. Is that it? Interesting. LVA is a UI scale. Maybe that's the second one. Maybe it is, Mins. Maybe it is. Quite potentially. Um, Basically, why has it? You can add extra action past country. Yeah, but I think they add on the side rather than. St oh no, you're right. They do stack up on top of them. Right, you get so you get your main bar, and then you can have two, one and two on top, and then you get two on the side as well. But with an add-on like LVI, you can have them at the bottom, like I've got. Yeah. Uh, LVI. I spelled it out. It's E-L-V-U-I. Exclamation add-ons will get you a list of all my add-ons. It looks. Uh, look it up in one of the menu log type apps. I'm gonna just type that instead of copy-pasting it. 
<laughs> it's gonna be like calories of KJ's. We'll shovel it all down. Belly sandwich, maybe the hundred percent beef. It's got pork belly and beef, goose. It's a double dose of meat. Double dose. Finally got lucky. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do the um like up here. See if the superstition helps. Your own mind did have bacon for belly strips were actually pork belly chunks. Ooh, interesting venom. <gasps> Maybe they gave you bonus bacon. Maybe you just got like extra lucky and they put the bacon on and then went, oh no, and someone else was like, oh bugger it, it's got sauce all over it already, just leave it. Maybe you got bonus bacon. Yay for you! <laughs> oh, it's only 30%. You could have three of them and still come in under your recommended daily intake of calories. Yes, but you'd have to eat nothing but celery for the rest of the day. <laughs> There's 0.6 skill try playing with that. Yeah, give it a go, Kay. If not, take some screenshots and drop them in the ATT Discord. They're really, res like, Creve is really awesomely responsive. Um, so that's a thing. Um. OD on the protein, fat, session, fats, and sodium. Oh, absolutely. Well, depending on your own personal dietary requirements, of course, there are some people out there who eat twice to three times as much as your, like, regular adult because of, you know, their, their physical activity levels and things like that. So, um, but yes, you know, it is a sometimes food. <laughs> Most food are sometimes foods, to be honest. Eat a tasty burger that oh, I can imagine. With that description, it sounds delightful. Oh, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be healthier and stuff because I've just I've been so sick lately and just so run down and all this kind of crap. And I'm like I'm really I'm just over it. You know I'm sick of I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right. Uh, so I am I'm trying to do better and putting better food like better fuel into my body. But good Lord, the stress levels lately have not been conducive to eating healthy, let me tell you. I, I am a person who has always, food has always been a comfort to me, always. Um, it doesn't always have to be like uh, like takeout and, and or fatty foods or high sugar foods or anything like that. Like even like sushi is a comfort food, right? Or sashimi, it's expensive though. Um, so the cheapest stuff uh, usually is what I what I end up going for. Uh, I just feel like crap. Um, like I had, I was, I was sick, sick. I uh, ended up on a ten-day course of antibiotics, and then towards the tail end of that course, uh, we had the Brisbane floods, 
and we had no power for like a week and all this so it just kind of like all of the stress i had a go bag packed i had to like you know ready to evacuate at a moment's notice it sucked i was stressed and so i ate like shit um but i'm just i'm, I'm so over feeling like poop um so i'm trying to to do better but that sounds like a really delicious burger <laughs> I wonder if I could like make something similar at home at that and that way at least I can control and that way at least I know exactly what's in it. You know, if we make the patties ourselves out of mincemeat and season them ourselves and we get some pork belly, I know that um especially with like the spicy sauce stuff, I know that Woolworths has uh like pork shoulder and pork other stuff, uh like in little pork belly chunks and stuff like that. Uh like you said, the the chunks. Um, and that way we can see all the ingredients in it and then we can cook it and not put as much on the burger or something and we can get a wholemeal bun instead of, uh, whatever they're doing and... You know what I mean? Like, it just... We could... I mean, obviously it's not gonna be the same and it's so much easier to just go a place, say, can I have a burger and then get a burger and then eat it. Um, but... God, I just... My body is rebelling. I have an autoimmune condition as well, so it makes everything just that little more important, like that little more, like, touchy. Whenever something goes wrong, it goes wrong. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh... It's time. Yeah, the, the antibiotics I had, if you've ever had, you know, not a cold sore, but like a little split. Just a tiny little, not a, not a big crusty infection, just just a little tiny split in the corner of your mouth. Apparently it's called angular chelitis. Um, well, I had that. I was getting stressed and, and, you know, I got a little tiny split in the corner of my mouth. Um, well, the autoimmune condition that I have makes me super susceptible to bacterial infections. Last time I had food poisoning, I ended up in hospital. Like, you know, just standard food poisoning that would have left somebody on the toilet overnight, it landed me in hospital. Um, and so this little tiny split got infected and that infection then spread across my lips um, to the point where when I woke up in the morning my lips were sealed shut uh, because like it had you know gotten through the skin and so my skin was kind of glued shut as it was trying to heal itself which was a fun experience and then it got into my throat um, which was why I couldn't speak and had to cancel this original 12 hour celebration stream. Um, but the antibiotics cleared it up, like, super fast. After, the, like, a couple of hours after the first dose, I was already feeling miles better. And, and 24 hours after the first dose, um, all of the really bad stuff was completely gone, and it was just, just in the corner of my mouth, my throat was okay, all that. Like, it, it worked supremely effectively, very, very quickly. Um, but of course, I finished the whole course, because I'm not going to be responsible for the next Mercer. Um... But yeah, it just, I really like food, but my body doesn't. My body hates food. <laughs> it rebels anytime I put anything in it, which is lovely. Oh well. Oh. Um. Having a shirt? Thank you, Happy. It's my merch. It's my logo. exclamation merch if you want to check about yourself okay barbecue oh korean barbecue is delicious it's delicious look for the most part like if you're ordering k barbecue stuff that isn't with all the millions of different sources and stuff it is genuinely quite healthy usually a little bit higher fat content but if you're just putting strips of meat on a grill like it's just it's just meat it's when you start adding all the the extras and the sauces and all that that everything starts going sky high uh, what floods Brisbane? Yeah, Brisbane is the capital of Queensland in Australia. Brisbane is a location. It's where I live. Um, yeah, I just thought I could not get out of my street for two days. Oh gosh, Ozzy, I hope you're safe now. And I hope you didn't have too much damage. Does this have some good hot sauces? Nice. Nice three hours from Brisbane. Oh, a lot of flooding here too. Gotcha, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, half our street was underwater. It was nice. Sarcasm. Try a Bruce Wayne burger from Grilled. Ooh, that sounds tasty. No, yeah, it was it was a bit trash. It was a bit trash. Um, nice scale font section in the media engine. Ah, fantastic! Okay, look, we got there. It may not have been quite right, but at least we helped you find it. That's awesome. See, yeah, yeah, they did. They worked an absolute treat. 
really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Official uniform? Yep. <laughs> okay, burger's much tinier than I think it should be. Good. Good. Uh, Cyrus, I will let you know when there is a giveaway open. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> uh, one hot sauce called shit the bed. Oh no. Oh dear. This with the menu options are ah fantastic. Yeah, isn't it wonderful when you can actually read things that are intended to be read? Brilliant and fantastic. Ah oh, dear. Uh, right, so this is a natural lulling conversation. So now we will talk about the giveaway. Uh, no run for me. Oh dear, hot sauces have the best names. Some of them absolutely do. I can agree wholeheartedly. Uh, let us find what our random giveaway is for right now. Pop away the jar of happiness. We have our little piece of paper, and it is... Hey, it is another Mellow Cosmetics 25 Australian dollar gift card. Uh, Mellow Cosmetics is one of the companies I'm affiliated with. However, I am doing this. This particular giveaway is funded from, by me. Um, they haven't given me the stuff to give away. Uh, I don't even think that they know that I'm doing this, but that's fine. They, I don't think they're going to care. They're going to get some gift cards purchased. Like, whoop de do. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yes, so... Mellow Cosmetics, 25 Australian dollar gift card. Um, there is no, on their website, they do not exclude any countries. They don't say that there's anywhere that they cannot ship to. So I'm gonna say that this is region unrestricted. Like anyone anywhere can get it because you'll obviously you'll get the digital e-gift card and then you'll be able to order the products to your own address. Um, all I will need from the winner is a an email address. So you will need to give me your email address, but that's all that I'll need. So, let us reset this. Um, Mellow Cosmetics 25 AUD gift card. Giveaway is open. You must be following to be able to win. And anyone can enter as long as you have a shipping address that is a place that Mellow can ship to. Cosmetics is makeup, of course. Mellow Cosmetics gift card. They have eyeshadow palettes and they have lipsticks and lip liners and eyeliners and blushes and bronzers and highlighters and they're like really good quality stuff too. Their eyeshadow is actually legit awesome. Like I have one of their palettes, I've got the treasure chest palette and I've got one of their little quads as well. And the, the eyeshadows are really well pigmented without being like over the top. So you can blend them out really easily. They haven't stained my eyes or anything. And the shimmers go on so easily. There are some eyeshadows out there where you need to like spray them with a setting spray to get them to stick and stuff. And this just doesn't. You get wicked payoff with very little effort. You just kind of brush in, brush on, done. Uh, it's really, really useful. Um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, where are we at? Yes! These lines, we must figure out the option in LVI was to stop announcing every portal. Ah! Is that LVI? I must have turned that off like decades ago. They only sell in independent supermarkets like Richie's, IGA, Amazon from their website. Yeah, fair. Totally fair. They ship to the ISS. I don't know, you'd have to ask them have to ask can you watch twitch from the iss the thing is you can use the affiliate link when you go there indeed you can you might even be able to also use my discount code fiyama 15 to score your i mean you can use that regardless but if you win the gift card you might also like you might be able to like double it up. i don't know though you'll have to experiment with that i'm not sure if you can this is just wondering of course of course yeah, it'd be super frustrating trying to pinpoint what the thing is that breaking stuff, yeah, absolutely. Especially when you got like a hundred bloody add-ons. Excuse me, Chili Willies Hot Sauce have some funny names. I bet. I bet with a brand name like that too. Will I look good in lipstick? Of course. Everyone looks good in lipstick. As long as it's a colour that they feel confident in and like, then they will look good in it. Regardless of gender, doesn't matter. Do what you want. Have fun. 
paint your face and wash it off at the end of the day. Do make sure you wash it off at the end of the day though, because like your skin will thank you for it, promise. Uh, no, unfortunately they do not do nail polish. They are just a uh, like makeup, face makeup at this point. They also, they don't have skin uh, like uh, uh, foundations and powders and stuff, but I understand that because they are a smaller company. And so building out an entire range of foundations can be very expensive. Uh, especially getting all those formulations just right, so I understand why they don't have that. They also don't have mascara, which I find quite interesting. It was pointed out to me by a viewer that they don't have their own mascara. Um, but pretty much anything else, uh, they'll do, which is good. Better to their eyeshadows almost exclusive. They're good, aren't they, Ali? Is this is to make me look fabulous. Fantastic. Wonderful. I can hydrate a lot. Your skin will enjoy that as well. Indeed. I need to refill my water bottle again. Uh, I've been told I look good in the You can't stand the feel of it. Totally fair. That's, you know, also fair. If you don't want to, that is okay as well. <laughs> don't have to enter a giveaway. If it's not a product you'll use, then, like, you don't need to enter. It's fine. I'm gonna enjoy this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alrighty. Well, Lander, it looks like your friend is definitely going to enjoy this. <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, I will grab your email address at some point later on. Uh, either after stream or early tomorrow, day, like tomorrow morning or whatever, I will shoot you a DM to grab your email address so that I can send you the gift card. Congratulations! Seriously, indeed. Well done. Uh, right, okay, I think then that's a good point for me to go and refill my bottle, right? Because otherwise, um, I'm gonna get yelled at again. Oh. <laughs> that's gonna give you strange things. I know, it just... Uh, 1,353. We've, we've, tip, we've tipped over. We've tipped over the actual, like, one in blah 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 blah, and we're now at 1,353. Ah, oh, I think rather profusely at that perfect transition. Good. Wonderfully created content. I'm glad. Well done. <laughs> uh, how long have we got on the battle? Seven minutes. Perfect. I am going to uh, refill my bottle. I'm on 13.55 attempts for the bloody group. Grumble, grumble. I don't... It's not in my bag somewhere, is it? Like, that would just... It would make me so, so very upset. It doesn't look like it is. Okay. Um... All right, I will return shortly. hydrate.
How's that for timing? Let's go get us a chest. There we go. Uh, all the hydrates. I came up with a name for my fire mage. I was thinking what sources of the names I've taken until I googled and found disco source. I love that. Just finally used my 50 boost can decide a name for warrior. I ended up with mad splatter. Oh good. It's a great name. eaten fish. That's not strange group. Alright, taking bets. What drop? What number is it going to drop on? Fishing stream, I know, right? Ugh. We're on 1361 now. When's it going to drop? 6969. I hate you, Eric. <laughs> I don't, but like, oh my god. 1666. At least that's close-ish. It's like an hour and a half away. <laughs> God. Oh, 1500 even. 1369. I like that one better. It's like six casts away. You know that optimism thing? Yep. Damn straight. 2666. Uh, dislike. <laughs> oh, X. Deary me. Fantastic. Where are we? Avoka, Mick, and Death, congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Onward we go. Esters. Centurions and Orc Slayers. Can't place the Orc Slayer. Can't place the Centurion. Tokens and level units. Alrighty, we're gonna level units. We're gonna place down that flag bearer. Go. Back to the exhilarating fishing content. Also, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Lando. Gosh, I can't believe we've been live for seven hours already. And I've spent all seven of them fishing, for God's sake. How does this even, like... Hmm. Did 
you guys actually want a fishing stream? Just a whole fishing stream to, to knock out all the collectibles. Although, granted, a lot of it would be character switching and going and doing fishing dailies and stuff, trying to get that bone fishing pole and stuff, but it could be interesting. During twice the fishing screen. Good. Good. Seven hours fishing. So far, yep. I'm trying to get this strange group to drop, and it just will not. It will not. We've been here for this fair. Five of the fishing stream. Okay, okay. Well, I've added it to the list of potential community challenge goals. So, there you go. Oh, and we've we've fulfilled the Shah one, haven't we? So I can put that in for next month now. Like, officially, not just penciled. Well, still penciled, because I'm still planning out the rest of the month. But... Put it in properly. I keep my schedule. I've got, like, not windows, uh, mirrors. My wardrobe. I use them as a whiteboard to, like, pop my schedule up on because then I can wipe it clean and I can make adjustments really easily if I need to. It's quite useful, actually. So now I have I have penned in Shaf Arm. I can still shuffle it around if I need to, because it's a whiteboard. But uh we're getting there. The now stream goal thing, also stream red is woo indeed. Um it's on the list of of potential things to do, yes. My posture's fine, isn't it? I'm up I'm upright. Of a stretch though. Uh, but yeah, that's on the list. Damn it, too late. Wait till you get back before I start it, Jazz. <sighs> Team 78. Really hoping this wouldn't take this long. Really? I was wrong. Okay. No extreme. Here we go. Start the timer. In before, what's wrong with your microphone? What's wrong with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm pretty sure the captions don't even work. Because it goes through, yeah. The captions don't work because it can't figure it out. Because it goes through the mic and then that goes to the, yep. Yep. What's doing something? Changed much in the past six plus years. Continuous hours of fishing. Now, this is by choice. This is absolutely by choice. Um, there's a rare who is sitting in under there. You can see him, Huracan, under there. Uh, and if you fish up the strange group, which is what I'm looking for, uh, you can then go and fish up a couple of other things. Well, fish up one other thing and then click another couple of things and then you gather some stuff and take it to an NPC who makes a lure for you, which enables you to fish up that guy. And then he, if you fish him up, it's a 100% drop rate for the amount that he drops. Uh, and it looks like him. The 
this one. That's the mount. It's freaking beautiful. Um, so it is completely 100% optional content. Absolutely don't need you, but I want the pretty. Yeah, occasional quote captions, yeah, it's hilarious, right? Just, just every so often it gets through. Yeah, fishing content. Love this voice. Good, I'm glad. You are definitely amongst the, uh, the minority. But, uh, there we go. Complete. Thank you, Jas, for your redemption. Everyone thanks you. Like him, Batman, beautiful. It's a good looking, right? It's got like a lot of the mounts from this patch are freaking beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but yes, absolutely, totally, completely unnecessary content. You don't have to do it. But I mean, most of the content is like that, I guess. It just depends on what you're aiming for. And I want to get all the stuff, all the things, if you will. Which is why I have this here called all the things. But yeah, it's, um, I'm a collector. Just change it to jazz. Hey! Fantastic. Oof. Oh no! God damn it. when I played years ago, yes. Oh, it's a lot, it, there's a lot more to collect these days. Like a lot more. I'm pretty sure in like this patch alone. They, so this patch they introduced, what was it? 41 new mounts. You are not oh, prepared. Cricket, hello. Welcome on in. How are you today, love? How was your stream? Uh, so in 9.2, they introduced 41 new mounts. In the entirety of Classic, there was 70. 70 in Classic, and so far we have 173 in Shadowlands. So it's it's all, like, everything's just expen exponentially increasing. Uh, which is great fun. It means I'll never run out of things to do. I don't think I'll ever get everything, but I can definitely try. Definitely try. I find this strange keeper was extremely unlucky. Oh no, Adnan. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I hate to ask, I hesitate to ask, how many casts did it take you? Hello, Shockwave. Hello, Charis. Fly. And Cricket. Hello, Mega. And Mike. Happy six. Aw, oh, thank you, Shock. Much appreciated. It's great. Legends Arceus. Hey, open up some new mail. You were totally not wonky Charizard and had a lovely time. That sounds like an absolute blast, Cricket. Thank you so much for bringing your amazing community in to say hello. Hey, JC. You are new. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hey, Hammond. 3,208. Oh, Ad, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, dear. But you got it. I'm so happy that you managed to get it. Oh, far out. I've just hit 1400. Let's see how we go. To support your six. Aw, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, Cricket. Thank you so much. We've got giveaways every hour on the hour. We've been giving stuff away. It's been so much fun. So many people have been just over the moon with bits and pieces that they've won. So definitely welcome to stick around if you want some free stuff. Or if you just want to hang out and chill. I've been fishing for seven and a half hours. I'm trying to fish up, so, um, think shiny hunting. It's like shiny hunting. Um, you fish up, there's an item that you can fish up and it's called Strange Goop. And I'm just over 1400 casts now, 1400 attempts, right? Once you get the goop, 
you go and do a few more other bits and pieces and collect some other items, and then there's a person who makes it into a fishing lure for you. And that enables you to fish up this boy under here, Hirakon. And Hirakon drops a mount, and that's the mount. Isn't it just absolutely gorgeous? Shiniest of shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just being very, very, very stubborn. And will not give me the item that I need. Basically. Because I'm making me feel great with my 159 attempts. Nice bit fishing for hours is boring. Use the fishing bot to auto catch. Yeah, that is against terms of service. And I would absolutely recommend against anybody even attempting to do that. Don't break the rules. You will lose your account. <laughs> Don't do that. Um... This is so nice of you. I'm I'm so happy that I've managed to get a few bits and pieces from a few different companies, and then I've I, I've bought a few gift cards and stuff to throw in as well. So it's very exciting, and I'm so pleased. Everyone's been so excited. It's so good. Just like fishing in real life. Spend ten hours fishing, and all you catch is a cold. Oh, look! I could not agree with you more, Shockwave. I I've caught uh, one thousand one hundred and ten fish, uh, a whole bunch of old eleven old gloves. A singular resonant bar, 10 broken fishing poles, 11 gilded rings. Um, look, there's actually the rings might have come from the thingamajigs. Yeah, I, look, it's been a time. <laughs> it's It's been a time. And I would just very much like to receive my strange group, please. Fishing in where I was relaxing takes you on a journey of self discovery uh, and boredom. <laughs> nah, it's, it's actually, honestly. I think if I was doing this off stream, I probably would have like opened up Netflix on the other screen and just, yep. But because I've had chat to talk to, everyone's keeping me company and we've got uh, stream raiders every half hour going off and then we've got the giveaways every hour. It's kind of broken it up enough that it doesn't feel like I've been fishing for seven and a half hours. Um, I mean, I have and it sucks, but it doesn't quite, it doesn't feel like that, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty good. 11 good rings, not five. Nope, 11. Eleven. Never fitting my mage out in fishing gear and spending hours trying to get the fishing achieves. Yas. Yep. I don't even like fishing IRL, so I stopped. Shop check, keep the armor sane. Yep, pretty much. I mean, as sane as I can be. It's like, oh, it did splash. Good. Um, marathon. I'd be watching. Do a rewatch of a TV show before season two starts. Yas. Gotta love those rewatches, hey. You can be probably asleep right now. Play your video game all lonely life. Lumberjack shirt, old fishing hat. Yas. Ah, oh. and like getting gloves. Did wasn't there gloves that you could put an enchant on? And then there were pants. Oh no, boots. Boots. They were fishing boots. I think. I think it was fishing boots. But yeah, this is this is a whole thing. <laughs> this is a this is a whole thing. Stretchy. Eh? Should I'm comfy. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Mm-hmm. Achievements for catching specific fish in Org and I Forge. Yep. Um, apparently I did those before Transmog existed and then deleted the, the deleted the fish because I didn't need them beyond that. Um, and so now I'm missing Transmog from fishing. I have to go fish up old Iron Jaw again. Which takes forever. At least I have Alliance Tunes now to do it on so I don't have to actually sit out there on my mage. Uh, in, in IF. That's recently. Not sure if you know this, but when you do get the thing in some of the jellyfish, make sure you haven't killed it for a day. Nope, it's been hot fixed. A while ago now. Uh, over a week ago. Oh, I've killed it twice already today, and both times I actually got loot. The second time, I got an Auralid Lattice, which is used for making pets, uh, that I didn't get the first time around. They, they removed the loot lockout for it, specifically for that reason. Ah, uh, I don't like Tazavish. Tazavish is fine! Get some dinner. Enjoy, Cricket! I hope it's delicious and wonderful. Enjoy. Hope you get that new mount. So do I. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. 
so looking forward to it. I no doubt, like when I when I've got it, like when I've got the lure, I'll be like, all right, everyone, come on out. Let's let's summon him. Let's uh let's get them out. Get everyone at least an attempt. Taz. Taz is great fun, but I would definitely recommend at least looking up bosses uh, before you head in there because they do have some pretty tricksy mechanics. I mean, AG, even just in the adventure journal is fine, but just having some idea of what you're walking into. Good night, chat. Yas. It's fine in my little bit thick plus. Read a Taz guide. Yeah, there. it's pretty straightforward. Hey, pizza's on the way. Fantastic. How long have I been playing? Wow, 15 years. 15 years. I started playing roughly around the start of uh, when Burning Crusade was launched, which was towards the end of January, uh, 15 years ago. Yeah. How about you, Venom? How long did you play? Reads anything and you know it? I know, that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, I did have a six month break and an eight month break in there, uh, both for like unrelated life reasons. It wasn't anything to do with the game. It's just that life went kablam. Um, and so I wasn't able to play for a while. Uh, but outside of that six and, and eight months, um, there have been some times where I've literally logged on once a week and played. And then there are other times where I log on every day to play, like now. Um, but I've always, I, I like outside of those actual breaks, the six and eight month breaks, um, I've played consistently throughout those 15 years. Um, and always a mage. My mage has always been my main. Um, or if you mean today, seven hours, 27 minutes, correct. <laughs> That's funny. my strange goop gif let's gif that is an Elysian Thade not a strange goop that is a lost soul not a strange group. Oh, hey VK. Welcome on in. I'm thinking of rolling a mage. What is your opinion on Frost Spec Mage? I haven't played since Pandaria, so I don't know what and how much has changed. Uh, I don't play Frost. Um, I, I never have. Not with any, any sort of consistency. Um, I, I tried it out a little bit here and there, and I just never, it never felt right. It never, like, the, the, um, rotation and stuff just didn't flow for me. It, it never felt comfortable. Uh, so I've always played either Fire or Arcane. Uh, so, like, back when I was reading, doing, like, um, like, hardcore raiding, you know, with a guild, four nights a week, four hours a night kind of thing, you know, like, the, the traditional hardcore raiding scene. Um, I would play Fire unless Arcane was far and away the better spec choice meta-wise. Um, even if Frost was the better choice for raiding, I, I always played either Arcane or Fire. Very, very rarely Frost was actually the best choice, so Frost was usually, like, a, a way back when was, like, a PvP thing. For the most part, leveling in PvP, um, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't help with the frost spec questions. Um, but I can definitely help you out with like fire spec or arcane spec type stuff. More fire. I've been playing fire for five, five years now. 
five years I've been in like straight fire. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to be able to better help you with fire questions. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not very helpful. Hey, uh, but if you're looking for rather than opinion, if you're looking for like instructionals and stuff like that, uh, I know that the Wowhead Guide for Fire Mage is really good. So I would imagine that the the Wowhead Guide for Frost Mage is also pretty good in giving you an idea of what you should be looking for at gear and, and stuff like that. Uh, and also the play style, like what the rotation looks like. And so you can kind of wrap your head around it from that side and see if it's something that appeals to you. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have an opinion, though, because I haven't played it in a very long time. Uh... The only time I do, uh, the only time I play Frost is when I'm running Temple of Anchorage and I have to kill Visitus, and so I freeze him with Ice Lances and then shatter him with an heirloom dagger. <laughs> That's the only time I play Frost. I'm so sorry. Uh, he really is inside my ray. I reckon it might be meaty. I reckon it might be. Ah, uh, I like Frosty. Brilliant. If you enjoy Frost is pretty strong at the moment if it's your thing. It's been a long time. I've played in Alpha and Beta since game started for about 10 years. Wow. Awesome, Venom. I hope you enjoyed your time in the game. I used to find Frost quite similar, which I do play on it. Oh, there you go. Okay. It, that makes sense because I hate playing my priest. <laughs> Just plural. I have four priests and I don't like playing any of them. Uh, Frost Mage is one of the most complained about playstyles in the early days of PvP. They just, yeah, they're really, really good at locking you down. Like, really good. Um, you're very welcome. You're welcome. Straight fire. Well, Fiamma is actually Italian for flame. That's where I got my name from. <laughs> the fact that I play fire. Um, but there you go. I see Vase was a good site years back. I think it branched out from Frost and even Mages. It does other things now. Oh, hell yeah. It does everything WoW related. Uh, plus Hearthstone and Diablo. I use it almost exclusively, like, when I play Hearthstone, which is not often, but when I do, uh, or when I play Diablo, again, not often, but when I do, I, I almost exclusively use Icy Bane's guides to help me figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Um, they are pretty good. The only issue I found with Icy Bane's guides for fire mage particularly because it's the only one i really look up um is that the wowhead stuff seemed to be updated pretty quickly when changes were announced um whereas the icy veins guides just didn't they didn't get updated for a really long time there was a point where they were like two patches behind they hadn't updated a, a guide since the start of the expansion and we'd had two patches worth of spell changes and stuff um i don't know if that's still the same but that was when i kind of stopped using icy veins guides for wow um, but if they're, if they're back on track, like if they, if they've got guide authors and stuff that are on top of their stuff, then yeah, it'd be fantastic to use it. Another, another option, different presentation of the datas. Kind of fantasy news, you mentioned there are guides on there as well. Yep, absolutely. It's about right. Uh, oh, free for all. I got that. Still fishing. 1,458 casts, and the bar is now a very solidly coloured yellow. <laughs> it's no longer a greenish yellowy hue. It's down. It's very yellow. Very yellow. It's going to start heading into the orange territory soon, I feel like. It drops soon. I agree. I would very much like to not do an entire 12 hour stream of fishing. It's insane. Same. More fishing! Yeah, a little bit more at least. <sighs> Boogie down! I'm wet paladin. I am not a paladin! I'm not even wet. I'm up the top on a ball. Very dry mage. <laughs> yeah. You mean mage, uh-huh, uh-huh. some of my the jungle love. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. Goodness gracious. Oh, I got a bandage. That's my f oh no, second bandage. I thought it was my first one, but it's my second one. Welcome indeed to all the new viewers. We had a cricket raid. Very generous of her. Ah, oh, well done, Meaty. Congratulations. Winning the free for all. Okay, it's starting to kick in. Well, the raiders, indeed. Indeed. Mm. So I'm trying to fish this thing. It's on the AH as well, babe. Yeah, but like usually it's uh, very, very, very expensive. I'd rather not have to spend that kind of cash if I don't have to. Um. <clears throat> Go! 150k. And that was eight and a half hours ago. Who knows what it is now? Not when intangible internet currency. Yas. Yas. my strange group. Ugh. But I'm comfy. <laughs> I am comfortable. Ooh, battle. Just like walking straight through them, hey. Awesome. Hey, fantastic. Seeker Ali Joe Puckled. It is and meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. What's that? Ooh, token chest. Let's rack up some uh, tier rewards from your battle passes. Slayer? No. Centurion? No. 
Flag bearer. Yes. Back to fishing. Paladin? No! I'm trying to level my flag bearer. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. This morning. At like 7am this morning, I unlocked the ability to do, the, to craft the mounts from the Protoform uh, Synthesis. Yeah, Protoform Synthesis. And I was like, yes, I'll fish up the strange group, I'll do that, and then I'll go farm up some mounts. Like some crafting, and I'm, it's no. Clearly not. Clearly, RNG Jesus has some different feelings about this. Let's do this. I just want to make some stuff. I want to start crossing these mounts off my list because I need to cross them off before the next thing hits. I have to stay ahead. No? You know? Introduce 41 mounts. I gotta get 51 or 61 or 71 during that time so that I can stay ahead and get close to actually knocking them all over. <sighs> See. We shall see. We can do it. Look, I hope so. I was also hoping to get like clear out all the battle pets today as well. There's 20 of the bloody things. But uh look. 24 mounts to be made. Doesn't tell you where to get the recipe from. That's a little interesting. I know some of them are dropped by rares. And some of them have um like the uh treasures and stuff. This is interesting. Unfortunately, it seems like when I've done the treasures, even if I haven't got the recipe from it, they've wiped off my map from Handy Notes. So that's. Sounds good. Ah, oh, any notes, Sandy? Cheap and stuff. Cool. There you go. At least we can figure that out. to. Uh, well, I would like to, but I can't at the moment, because I need to fish this bloody thing up. Hello, Dan. How you doing? So I can't tell if it's your bobber or mine going off. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That is booger. Oh, dear. Today I learned handy notes are handy. They are indeed, Sam. They are indeed. Hello, Daz. How you going? Welcome back.
I'm out of water again. Gracious me. No wonder I'm so like. Blech. So much water. Hello, Dunno. Your anniversary stream? Yeah, not too bad. I would very much like a strange group. Uh, but it has now been. This will be my 1500th cast. There you go. And no strange group. 1500 casts. Overtime, tea time. Um, usually Jess doesn't cook until like 7 ish. Uh, and it's currently almost 6. So we've got a little while late yet. Mountain Dew time. We don't have any Mountain Dew. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Um. Do you have the books like a mount? Do you mean the mount that looks like a book? Intellectual? Um. No, I don't. There's a there's a mount that you can get from doing uh, a special thing with the Mage Tower from Legion Time Walking. Um, I think you have to complete each challenge. There are like seven of them total, and if you do each of them, which involves seven different specs on classes, uh, then you get a, a mount that looks like a book that's open, uh, and you sit on top of it. I don't have that one. I do not. Then no Mountain Dew? Damn. That's right. When we get KFC. Or maybe, I'm thinking maybe now HJ's, like Hungry Jack's, get that pork burger thing. Try it out. But it is a lot of calories. I don't know. Might be worth. But I do love KFC. I know KFC is good. Whereas the Hungry Jack's pork burger thing might not be as good. I don't know. It's a... It's a conundrum. It's a conundrum and a crown for chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll give you a crown through drive through What realm do you normally play on? Uh, exclamation server will get you all of my infos, Adnan. See, it's also closer. It is. It is. I hate seeing all these red categories. It sucks. Should be green. Or at least like yellowy colored. Scary. Hey. 67.78% chance that I have seen it already. I haven't, but like that's that's how Rarity calculates stuff. I think we're gonna have another Huracan Swarm soon. Someone is using their uh buh. Must have missed it. Ah, grumble. Rumble. What you been watching lately? Uh, I watched the rest of Space Force. So I'd watched a handful of episodes of that, so I went back and watched the rest of what was available on Netflix. Uh, it's a Steve Carell thing. Um, and I have now been watching Pieces of Her, I think it's called. Um, based on a book. Uh, I can't really tell you much about it without giving major spoilers, because the whole thing is just like every five minutes there's a new twist of information that makes everything just so much, like, it's, it's, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. It's about a woman and her daughter. I'm assuming that the woman is, like, mid-50s to early 60s, and her daughter has just turned 30. Uh, and shenanigans ensue. It's not a comedy. It's not shenanigans like that. It's um, it's a drama. Uh, and it's honestly, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying. It. Uh, I've heard of it. Brilliant. 
Hey, I'm in. Slate to the potty, shuttle, and swing unlocked. Hey! Brilliant! Congratulations! Time for bed. Have a good rest of anniversary stream. Will do. Thank you so much for hanging out, Mins. Snowpiercer is a great series and movie if you're looking for something new. Cool. Awesome. I'm uh, watching The Last Ship again. It's a question for Fiamma or chat. Which is the best expat for Kirby time, i.e. fast living? If you're looking exclusively for faster, Warlords. Like, if faster is your only qualifier for what you want to do, then it's Warlords. Um, other reasons people might choose other expansions is things like if they're looking to uh, do more master while they level, like cross off for just a couple more more master things off their list, um, or if there's an expansion that they truly enjoy, because when you enjoy something, it goes faster, regardless whether it's actually faster or not, you'll enjoy it more. Um, but for pure speed, it's Warlords Adrenal. More Amina. More ciphers. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I got the, the mount there? The kill rather than. <laughs> uh. Ah, uh, so indeed. Good. Awesome. Uh, I thought I heard it's what it be like. I don't know though, because I don't play. Yeah. Drannel. Great. Yeah, Drannel technically clocks in as two hours faster than Legion, but of course. That involves you being super optimized and like a literal speed leveler. Um, but yeah, it's uh. You having fun? Absolutely. Stretches, isn't it? It does. Uh, I'm a. What has the best open world as well? Fair snow, fair. Um, I don't. I don't dungeon while I level. Uh, I level exclusively through questing. Uh, and I believe that the times that I was looking at, like the actual clocks of how long each one, each expansion takes, was specifically talking about questing, not about dungeon. Because there is there is absolutely no way for anyone to tell you how fast it will be if you do it through dungeons. Because that relies so heavily on what role you are, so therefore how long your queues go for, what time of day you're playing, depending on how many other people are in queue, uh, how many other people are leveling uh, at the same time. And then, you know, the level of experience of your group, whether they blast through without a word to each other, if they stop to chit chat, or if you wipe a couple times because people don't know what they're doing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, you cannot get an estimate on how long it will take to level through Dungeon Finder. You just can't. Um, whereas if you're questing, the only person you're relying on is you. Your speed, your ability, your consumables that are making it faster, etc., etc. Um, but, of course, You've got to do what you find fun. You have to, like, if you're not enjoying it, what's even the point? It's a video game. Play it for fun. Um, uh, inventing Anna on Netflix. Yes, I did. I did binge that one as well uh, a few weeks back. I think that was before the floods, maybe. Or maybe just after. I don't remember. Uh, did you opening your birth at the at the very least? Yes. Yeah, definitely good call. Uh, if you like goofy quests, I recommend Howling Fjord. Yes, Amazing. Oh. Where is this strange group? Where are you? How are you going, Meaty? How many attempts have you got up? This is not- it better bloody not X. I will be so- I will be broken by the time I get there. Not in the good way. Not in the let's have an 800% hype train way. It will- it will break me. <laughs> oh. So ridiculous. My back is fine. About to hit fifteen percent. Oof, meaty, rough. I have faith. I believe in you. Sixty-eight point three three. Sixty-eight point three five. I 
Uh, just curious what that max, current max level in, we're at the moment, 60. 60's max. Uh, at the end of BFA we were 120 and we got squished, level squished, down to 50. Um, so, and it, it was all, it was all a, sli a sliding scale from there, so depending on what level you were, you got squished to a different level. Uh, somewhere in between 1 and 50. And then Shadowlands ran 50 to 60. Um, the leveling, the way of leveling now, you've got um, level like 1 to 10. Uh, if you're a new player, you're sent to Exile's Reach, which is honestly a bloody great leveling experience to like an introductory experience. It's phenomenal. I think it's really well done. Um, so you've got that. Uh, if you are a player who has has a max level character already, you can either do Exile's Reach or you can choose to do the old school starting zone for whatever race you've chosen. And then from 10 to 50, if you do nothing, if you've done done your intro and you do nothing, you don't speak to Chromie, um, or if you're a brand new player who again hasn't got a max level tune, you're sent through Battle for Azeroth's story because Battle for Azeroth directly leads into Shadowlands story, so it gives you the most context for what's about to happen from 50 to 60. If you have a tune at 60 already, from 10 to 50 you can speak to Chromie and do what we call Chromie time. It's basically time walking leveling. You pick an expansion, any expansion, and you level through it. You, you go through one expansion from 10 to 50, and then when you hit 50, Chromie's like, oh hey look you're 50, yoink, and pulls you back to either Orgrimmar or Stormwind, depending on your faction. Uh, and then you're good to go off to Shadowlands. Um, it's so that, because what was happening previously was that you'd get through like half a zone in an expansion and then it's time to switch to the next expansion and then you get through another half a zone because of how things have changed over the years. You never got the full story from one expansion. So you, yeah, it, it pushes you back. Uh, you go through one, ex rather than getting like a snippet of all these different stories, you get most of, of one story, uh, which is pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, just give you permission to snack for a second. Of course, X, not a problem at all. Enjoy. I hope it's delightfully toasty. Exiles is awesome. Agreed. Agreed. See you when I stopped playing. It was over 100. Yeah. Yeah, 100 was Legion. No. Yeah, no, 110 was Legion. 100 was Warlords. 110 was Legion, and then 120 was BFA, uh, and then 60 in Shadowlands. Okay, some great moments. I love Flynn. Yas. Yas really enjoyed Alliance BFA. 300 attempts down. What are we? 300 attempts for what? Sorry, Kay, I've forgotten. My brain has just gone splat and I feel terrible. Uh, Dev sounds different. We're interested to get back into the game. Yas! Can't wait. Oh, the goop! Well done, Kay. You're on your way. In before you have a drop before I do. Um, but yeah, no, VK, it's it's definitely a very different experience to what it used to be, but it is beautifully streamlined. The whole point of all of the revamp, the squish and the leveling changes, all that kind of stuff, the whole idea was to make it easier for new players to join the game uh, or for old players to come back. Uh, so yeah, they, they did some bloody good work. Uh, with all of that. Eight hours of fishing, well. Both do and don't hope that. Yeah! <laughs> I hope that you get at the cast after mine. <laughs> is that is that okay? Like, I hope I get it and then you get it immediately afterwards to make me feel less bad. <laughs> Sounds fair. Brilliant. Oh, dear. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Natural lull in conversation. Jar of happiness. Uh, no, 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 no. Whatever number K is up to when I get it to drop. Whatever number K is up to. Yes. Okay. What do we have here for the giveaway? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so it's a beach set from Twitch. It consists of a towel a hat, and sunglasses. So let me show you. These are some of the rewards we got from Bitfest. 
pull this box out. But, so we have sunglasses. They are purple with white arms. They are UV protection for eyes against ultraviolet rays. Uh, they sit like so. They've got Twitch printed on the side there. Very, very stylish. Then we have, to match, a Twitch bucket hat, which is white, has a little black rim, and this is embroidered on. The, uh, the, the Glitch logo is embroidered. Uh, this is an L slash XL, so it should fit most heads, I would imagine. Most, probably not all, but most. It's a beautiful bucket hat. And then, to top it all off, I have a beach towel. So, that's, that's half of it. It does unfold again, and it's white on the back. There you go, is, is beach towel and hat and sunglasses. The Twitch beach set. Uh, so this was sent by Twitch, not to celebrate my anniversary, but these were, these were some of the rewards from uh, Bitfest, which you may or may not remember uh, from earlier, or well, like, like late last year, I think it was. It's been a little while, um, but that's okay. Uh, and we, we got a bunch of rewards because we hit, I think it was level 5 we ended up getting to. Uh, so they sent them to me and what I'm going to do is put them in a shipping bag and ship them to the winner. Uh, at my expense. So that's like the disclosure thing. Um, they sent it to us as part of a different promotional thing. And I am passing them on to a winner uh, as part of this celebration. Twitch has no say in that and I'm paying the shipping. Cool. We love disclosures. Uh, let us reset. It is a Twitch beach set. Uh, and I'm not going to region restrict this. Um, the items are light enough that it shouldn't cost me an arm and a leg. Um, but I do, again, I did say earlier, I do have a budget set aside for, um, for like shipping and stuff like that. So fingers crossed this won't cost me like $70. Uh, but we'll see how we go. So here we go. You must be following to be able to win giveaway is open. Good luck. Uh, boop to you too, Lander. <clears throat> uh, so this stuff can't be bought. It's, it's not purchasable anywhere, I don't believe. Maybe? I know that Twitch does have a merch site, but I don't, I don't think this can be purchased. Unless, of course, you're on eBay because other parts Excuse me, other partners are, like, flogging off the merch that they got from Bitfest. Uh, <laughs> there's always a possibility. Good luck with the giveaway. Yes! Good old bucket hat. Hell yeah. They're so good, aren't they? Like, they're just, they're simple, they're comfy, and they do the, they do the bloody job. Do the bloody job. It's beach towel, yeah. It, and it just feels super soft as well. Like, it's a lot softer than I remember beach towels being. So I don't, I don't. Sure, like, I, I don't quite understand that bit, but I'm okay with that. Like, hey, that's a good thing, right? Oh, the giveaway entries. Fantastic. Wait for the sploosh. There is the sploosh. Then we go and get the chest, which is like my 18th today. <laughs> I'm kidding, not that many. But it's a fair few. At least I'm getting some anima out of my, uh, out of my farm for the group. Um, uh, scared of asking me. Why are you scared? Uh, 1,567. 20 seconds left to enter the giveaway, if you so desire. Of course, you don't have to. You're under no obligation to. If you don't want, if you're not going to use the items, then, like, I'd rather not ship them somewhere where they're going to just end up in landfill. But, you know, to each their own. Uh, this shouldn't be as bad as mine, don't worry. Look. Look. I have had some terrible luck with prior fishing exploits, so... Not exploits. I don't remember the word. Like, expeditions, but not quite. Right, that's a daunting amount. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Entries have stopped! Big enough screen is just above stream readers. Got a window. Yes, it is. Just here. 
Um, fishing adventures. Indeed. Congratulations to Cybercat Dan. You have won the Twitch Beach set. Uh, either after stream tonight or at some point tomorrow in like the morning, I will send you a DM on Twitch asking for your shipping details and I will get these packed up and sent off to you as soon as I can. Congratulations. Well done. I hope you will enjoy keeping yourself safe and protected from, well, at least your head, safe and protected from the sun while chillaxing on your Twitch branded beach towel. Congrats. <laughs> You're so welcome, Dan. Thank you so much for being here, supporting and, and all the stuff. This is why I love doing giveaways, because it's giving back to people who have given so much to me, you know? Even if you've just given time, even if you've just thrown a lurk up in the background, that kind of, it, it's, you know, super worth. It, it means a lot to me, so thank you. Thank you to everyone who has. Uh, take the hat and tail fishing. I mean, if you want it to end up smelling like dead fish, sure, you could do that. <sighs> Uh, I think Fear might need a shower after this, indeed. Ah, oh, dear. Eerie me. So what is that? That's eight giveaways completed. We have four giveaways to go. Four giveaways still to go. Ugh. I love this. I love being able to get back to people. It's a lot of fun. As at least one blizz of our bubble ticket place to go. <laughs> okay, trying to keep track. It's more than that. Four. The only way to find out what's to go is by sticking around, hanging out. Or at least I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Company while I plot, yas. I'm so excited for you, Yuri, being able to get all those magical details out of your head and onto paper. Like, that must be such a rewarding experience. It's very hard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, what sort of book are you writing? Good question. Only, of course, only share information that you're comfortable sharing. If you are the kind of person to keep everything completely locked down until you're done, then that's okay too. Um, but I too am curious. Respectfully curious. I say this often and only because I mean it. It's a joy seeing you stream and the enjoyment you share. It's rather fulfilling. Oh good, Landa, I'm so pleased. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. I try, I, I do try, like... I want this to be somewhere where people can come and just chill out and feel like they're they're comfortable chatting to the people who are here, even if it's not me, like chatting amongst each other and all that kind of thing as well. Like, I yeah, I love the fact that we have a community that interacts with each other rather than just everyone talking at the streamer. And then, do you know what I mean? Like, we have a community Discord that is eh, relatively active, and people communicate with each other and they share life developments and and all that kind of stuff, and it's it's uh, it's really lovely to see. I, I would like to think that there are, like, friendships and stuff that have been built here, that even if I were to go away, even if I were to disappear for whatever reason, that those friendships would remain. Like, I, I that's kind of... We're more than just... Which is why I, like, it's more, it's more than just fans or viewers, which is why it makes me really kind of, like, when I'm reading through the throne stuff and it's like, your fans can suggest, and I'm like, they're not my fans, they're my community. Like, it's just, it's such a jarring difference in terminology, you know, I find it kind of feels a bit weird. 
Um, but yeah, like I, that's what I really love about this community is that there's that there's that connection. Okay. Mm. Uh, bonus to my listed friends means I can be here and do other things like heat up dinner. Yes, and you don't miss anything that I say. You might miss a little bit of chat, but you can always read through that when you get back. Okay. What Landa said, thank you, dude. Thank you. My God, still fishing. I know eight bloody hours, Panda. Eight hours. One of the best communities I've seen. Aw, yay! I'm so pleased to hear that, Kay. That's wonderful. Fantasy novel. Let us guess to discover an ancient underwater civilization with some rotten luck thrown in. Wouldn't be interesting without the rotten luck, would it? Vi, Landa, Death, Koala, Channel, Goose, Seeker, and Mech. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, this one. Ooh, Prometheus. Uh, well, as we figured out the other day, we could have been using the chat while you were away. Yes. Could have. But you could also use Discord and stuff as well. Like, it really, it surprises me how many... I mean, I'm guessing it's probably people who are, like, gifted subs who aren't actually, like... You know when a sub bomb drops on someone's head who's not, like, a, a super duper active part of the community? Because, like, we have, we have, what is it, 174 subscribers at the moment. Um, but in Discord, um, uh, in Discord, we have eighty three. So, like, Less, fewer than half, less than half of our subs are in the Discord, do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's kind of interesting, like, mm. not that there's anything wrong with that. Obviously everyone's in a million and one Discords and, and some of them are just too many. Uh, but, and some people are just genuinely here for the look, the audio, the, the whatever, and they don't, they're not, like, they're, and that's totally okay as well, mind you. So there's no need for them to participate in like the community side of things because that's not what they're here for. Um, but yeah, it just it always interests me, like those kind of stats. <clears throat> this is fun to be a lot of fantasy. My favorite. Yay! Sometimes it's more fun listening to you respond to chat with no context. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So uh, Yori, if you ever need a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, audio book done, hit me up. <clears throat> getting ahead of yourself but I mean like oh I'm getting ahead of you but hey oh look at that 1600 casts shine discords admittedly oh so am I I'm a chronic lurker I lurk everywhere that I am unless something happens and I need to yep I require feed and requires more water no my bottle is empty I've drunk a liter and a half today and my bottle's completely empty again it just seems more live yep technically both can operate the same way yeah absolutely I know you hate stats and spreadsheets and stuff like that. Exactly! Like, pfft, who the hell pays attention to stats? Uh, there is a... There is a Twitch event uh, that I will be attending virtually. Um, and there, there's a couple of, like, not panels, but, like... And not even... Not really, like, lectures. They're, they're calling them sessions. Um, but one of them is called, like, stats and how to use them. So I'm like... Gimme. <laughs> I want all of this info. Feed me the in like tell me how to be pro streamer now. Okay, thanks. Selling the voice command from you, we know Via can do the known voices. Yeah, I mean with the with the thingy. Thingy. Miss the 69.69. Indeed, we're at 69.99% chance of having seen it now. Hold you to it. Yell the witnesses. Indeed. I mean you can clip it if you want to. I, th oh, I just think it'd be so much fun recording audiobooks. It's so much fun. I get to read a book and get paid for it. Like, like right? Like, come on. Oh, obviously, it's a hell of a lot more work than that. I, I know. I know. But I would. That, I think that would just be awesome. A great supplement to my income, you know? Help me pay them bills. Uh, stats and spreadsheet hate. I should have had a cap at the end, is it? No, it's okay. Totally okay. Got a, it's only a new emote, so we're still learning that it's there to be used. 
He's giving a lecture, confirm. No, I'm listening to the lecture and I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, where's the... Because I know there was an email, um, but I don't think there was anything in the Discord about it. That's okay. But yeah, there were like a whole bunch of sessions, and I'm ah ah. <sighs> <sighs> okay, you can get it now, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very rude of me. Uh -huh. Okay. We good. <laughs> we good. Next step. <laughs> oh. Oh. Goodness. Sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who I just yelled at in ears of. Uh, apologies. 1,611 cut. Well, no, actually. Found after. So it was 1612. 1612. Whew. I'll get it now, hopefully. Yes, fingers crossed, Kay. Fingers crossed for you. Now I go hunt down the things. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Goop! Yep. <laughs> scared the I'm so sorry, Dunno. It scared me too. Could you tell? <laughs> that car's- Oh, okay. It's okay. Soon, soon, soon. Fear did the thing. You were here, Adnan. You were. Thank you for the grats. I'm so fucking happy for you. Me too. Eight. And eight hours and 15 minutes, eight and a quarter hours of bloody fishing. Is there a murderer in Fear's room? No, just got a pet. No, not even a pet. An item. Literally an item. That's it. Now I need to go get the rest of it. I can't believe it's not Bob. It's it's auctioning for, for 149k. Just like that, the sleepies go away. Now it's like, adrenaline, let's get shit done. Uh, <laughs> we're way better. Yeah, way better. Absolutely. 70.15%. Uh, I still have a blue car. Wayne right near the air look a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Coil Fang Reservoir. Uh, okay, Zangar Marsh. So, Shatrath. Let's go after so long, running around in low zones, keep forgetting not to pull Biles and shut. Oh, Seeker. Yes, I know the feeling. So used to like leveling that, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eight hours of fishing. Oh my god, yep. Eight hours and 15 ish minutes. Oh dear. He is gonna get. Sorry, I thought I could hear something. Fi is gonna get a mount, get a mount, get a mount. Fi is gonna get a mount. It's a very pretty one. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so we're gonna go into Zangar, go into the Coil Fang Reservoir, and there is a pungent blobfish cluster, and I have to fish up a pungent blobfish. I do not know if this is a chance to drop or if it's a guaranteed drop. We are going to find out. I hope it's guaranteed, because... Because <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. There are requests here that I haven't done. Vel vendors? Oh my gosh. So I come through here and I see stuff and I'm like, oh no, I need to go do this. I'm like, no. Woman, you're on a mission. Let's get this done. Then you can do stuff like that later. Ah, uh, came back just in time. Hey, Panda, fantastic. Audiobook, you say, may I DM you a tweet I saw in the matter? Absolutely, Lander. You definitely may. Thank you for asking consent. I appreciate that. Um, and to take me long if that helps. Found a pool to the left once within and was like first or second cast. Brilliant. Little did we know it required more fishing. Oh, no, I knew it required more fishing. That's okay. That's just the really big annoying bad one um there is there is yet more fishing to come just not hopefully 1600 casts <laughs> 1612 uh, the other fishing stuff is guaranteed you should get on first try awesome no it's okay x it's okay 
It's all right. Um, there are certain things that are kind of like they're urgent or whatever, and so people need to DM me about it, and that's fine. Um, but when it's like a, an unnecessary DM or whatever, um, it is, you know, it is nice to ask. It is nice to ask, but I do get, I, I get a, a ton of DMs. Um, and I have to say, like, I, I do appreciate, like, a lot of the time, um, I've gotten a few DMs that are, like, talking about something that's happened in stream that day. Um, you know, talking, like, especially if we've brought up a really tough topic, uh, you know, one of those, like, you know, the fear talks, um, I'll often get a DM on one of the platforms after it saying, hey, I wanted to, you know, say thank you for, like, approaching that topic with, like, care and, and you know, taking it slow and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't often respond to those just because I, I, I'm time poor. I'm so time poor, like, time poor as hell. Um, so I don't often respond to them, but I do appreciate them. Um, I should probably get into the habit of like reacting to them or something like that, just to let them know that they've been seen. But uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Mm. Things that are always unnecessary. Uh, always consent before initiating private lines of communication online. For sure. There we go. Pungent blobfish. All right. Flipper fish is obtained by initially fishing up a flipper fish from a flipper fish school in Zinajari, Najata, which immediately slips away and summons a flipper fish that flops about and must be caught by clicking on it to get the final item. Uh, so we're going to N -n 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 and I believe we go to Orgrimmar to get there easily. Uh, I did just get to kill it and got a lattice. Hey! I've killed it three times today and the second kill got me a lattice, which is nice. Though apparently they're not used for any mounts. They're only used for a couple, like, there are, like, three pets, I think. Zandala? Why Zandala? For, um... Najata. Actually, the fastest one would probably be Tolbarad. Najata's the underwater one, right? Oh. Shit. Right, okay, good. And mage is fine. God, there are- there are- look. There, there- it's because the last one, the Coil Clutch Vine, is obtained from Coil Clutch Vine in Narshala Terra Shimmering Expanse. I knew there was one in Bashir, and they all bloody- like, there are so many zones. <laughs> there are so many zones, and I just- oh god, it sucks. Keeping track of them all is quite difficult sometimes. Ah, oh, God, thank you. Much appreciated. Well, I was like Boralus for Alliance, portal straight there. Uh, it is, but I'm a mage. It doesn't matter. Like he said, you mage, exactly. Shadowlands fishing max, okay, fantastic, congratulations. Ah, oh, actually, I'm gonna grab that just to get the thing off the thing. But I don't even want to look at my completion percentage for Najata. Anything lower than 100% is, is terrible. God, working through outdoor zones in ATT is going to be an experience. It's going to be one hell of an experience. Like finding all the little pockets of things that I've missed throughout the years. Oof, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a time. I'm gonna do a partial world too, because mage- exactly! Exactly. What of it? An unseen will commands the Makrura of Kalmathir. Do what you must in order to reveal and destroy it. This is a flipper fish school. to mage leveling. Hello, nurse. How you doing? Just away. Grab it. Excuse me. Come back here. Sure. 
Uh, and then we go to Najita. So we're gonna go to Tolbarad because then I can click the portal and I'll be up top. I don't have to fly up there. Ah, okay, thanks. How are you doing? And you all, uh, I fished for 8 hours and 15 minutes to get a strange goop. But I got it. And now I'm, uh, and now I'm doing the rest of the stuff. So I'm on my way to a mount, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uvashia. So well done, thank you. It took me 1,612 casts. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. Shimmering Expanse, which is down this way. Uh, so I'm going to go to Legion's Rest. Um, did post the clip for the group get in clip race? Hey, fantastic! Sure, I wasn't the only one. See your DMs. I've been on a four hour marathon of one with a new friend. Oh, that's great! Fantastic! Uh, morning. Hello, Kaz. Actually, six and a bit years. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our jellyfish mount hunting currently. That mount is very pretty. It is. We spent eight and a quarter hours getting the single strange group. Eight and a quarter hours of fishing. 1,612 casts to get the first piece of the puzzle. I was like, why would you go to Torbarad? Then Org, when you go straight to Org, I realize it pops up at the top. It does! Smart in dude! You'll learn a few tips and tricks when you're a madge. Uh, this bit took me ages to find. Had to resort to a VOD to find it. Yeah, it does say uh, located on the balcony of a tower on the second level of ruins. It's extremely hard to see it. Um, the coil clutch vine. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, on the balcony of a tower on the second level of ruins. Um, like if I overshoot and I lose the, the waypoint, I can always drop it back on the map. So that'll be helpful. Um, could I join you when you kill it? Of course! Absolutely! Everyone can join me when I kill it. Everyone! As long as you're on the same shard. Or we can get you onto the same shard by dropping you a group invite. But yeah, 100%. Totally. Um, do I have... This one, this one's pretty. Um, good morning, evening, hello Flip, how are you going? Six, seven casts more than I could face, well done. Yeah, look, it, it happened, it happened. All right, so that's level one. So this will be level two of the ruins. And it's on the balcony of a tower. Okay. Yeah. Can't see it. You just mouse over it until it, you, until it pops up. Uh, once if these return to Baroness Bash, she'll turn them into an Oraled lure. Where? But where is she? I can't get into that part of... Let's head back. Okay, so... If you don't have the mount, you can talk to her to get another one. The lure, because the lure is consumed on you. So. Okay. Um. Put the 
Papa can breathe underwater. It look I sometimes they put the pets in bubbles, which is super cute. Um Things of course. Papa can breathe underwater. Is this a hero command? Piss a lot of people off. Strange group in 22 casts, it's fine. That's that's what random is. Some people get it first cast, some people take 10,000 casts to get it. Wait, that's where I'm going. It's the it's totally okay. Like, I'm not going to get pissed off at someone having better luck than me. What the hell's the point? It's a waste of energy. <laughs> it does not matter. Like, things that took you two things, two, like, two minutes, but it took me eight hours. There'll be another thing that has taken you eight hours or more that took me 12 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, like, it, it all, it swings and, yeah. Swings and roundabouts, as they say. Totally okay. Oh, let's see the premise by Pond. She's outside. Brilliant. Fly over the seat of the premise. She's behind it. Clip she get in the group. Yay! Fantastic. Going to Meldrax. This made me jump five. Eye levels in five minutes. Good. It was low. Fanta. Ooh! April. I can join that. I am capable. I'm so excited, guys. I'm going to get a mount. <laughs> Yay! I like mount. Uh, missed the last giveaway. What was it and who was lucky? It was the Twitch towel, hat, and glasses, the beach set. Uh, so it's a beach towel, uh, a, a hat with the glitch logo, and, and a nice stylish pair of UV protective sunglasses. Uh, and Cybercat Dan won them. Uh, definitely comes and goes with luck. Just got the more wrap from the cages in five opens. Well done, Kim! Congrats! Congrats. Uh, we do have four giveaways left to draw, though. So do stick around. Have any mounts from Dragon Soul after a hundred runs? Oh gosh. Yeah, I get that. Perhaps you can help gather the necessary reagents for our latest mixture. <clears throat> ah, well done, Kay. Well done. Oh, that was terrible typing. That's okay. That's okay, I was fortunate enough to get the yellow lightsaber from Huracan 2. Hey, we just upgraded for my prop paladin. Fantastic. Well done and congratulations. I think I've actually been back here. Grief accomplishes nothing. <laughs> it seems even my favourite fishing spot isn't safe from the intrusion of you mortals. I tire of trying to find solitude from your kind. Also, I'm don't- I'm not a paladin! Uh... Also, don't bother the lurker. He deserves some peace after being disturbed from his rest and murdered by you. <clears throat> or a lid lure, get! done that quest, but I don't have that piece of transmog. Interesting. Who's ready? It's confused. Yeah, you gotta right click it to apply it. Uh, yeah, it's ready for what? We are summoning the the squid boy, and we're gonna kill him, and he's gonna give me my mount. Breakfast. 
I assume I'd have meant something else. Ah, oh, delicious, Kaz. I had a, uh, a smoked salmon bagel, actually, for breakfast. Uh, Jas went to the markets nearby and uh, came back with a, a bagel with cream cheese, smoked salmon, capers. Uh, it was dill cream cheese as well, uh, and cucumber. And it was just delightful. It was so tasty. So good. It really hit the spot. Like, I was like, oh, smoked salmon, okay. Mm, do I, like, I, I'm, I like smoked salmon, but I was like, is this what I want today? And I took a bite and I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I want today. Am I in the right spot? I feel like I'm not. I am, okay. Alrighty, so. I'm gonna hop off this. I'm gonna use the lure. And there's our, there's our pond, our pool, fishing pool. And everyone will materialize out of nowhere. Are you not on the same? So a few shards. Squishy. Pretty squishy. Worth. Worth every cast. Alright, at least I don't have one attempt a week, you know? Like, could be worse. Ugh, oh, did somebody put sparkles on me? Ah, they did! <laughs> Mount, get! It is so pretty. So, so unbelievably pretty. Like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, thank you guys for worth the hours. Yep, yeah. back to fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Does Jelly fly? Uh, I'm not sure. Not here, because no one can fly in Zerith waters just yet. Um, but possibly. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll have to test it out. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I... It does? Amazing. Perfection. Perfection. Uh, I don't have any protoform plan. I actually want to go and see the, the protoform synthesis place, because I haven't... Um, I haven't gone up there since I unlocked... The ability to use the bloody thing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere, right? I also have these two quests to pick up. That special is pretty cool too. That is cool. They really upped the game on, I think it was Shiba that said that Liz have really upped the game on mount specials lately. Mm-mm. <clears throat> The mechanic. Right power emanating from the place above. I'm drawn towards it like a moth to light. Check it out, whatever it is, won't you join me, please? It'll be so fun. I'm sure we'll meet again. Do I need to go right now? So. <clears throat> or actually, isn't up there where the synthesis thing is? It is. Cool. We're gonna go up there anyway. 
I still managed to get it start to finish. I did. Once you get the, the group, everything else is hella quick. Once you get the group, everything is hella quick. I'm aware, I'm doing it. <laughs> you silly duffer. No, I know. I know. I know you have to, um, I know you have to get the recipes. Uh, did you get Death Runner? Uh, no. I haven't gotten anything yet because I don't have any of the patterns yet. I literally, so the, my protoform synthesis for mounts because I couldn't access the game because of the floods, <laughs> I'm delayed with everything that's actually happening in game. Like all the timed stuff is happening later for me than it is for most people because I literally couldn't log in. Um, so my ability to craft mounts unlocked literally 7 a.m. this morning. And guess what I've been doing since then? <laughs> so no, anything to do with protoform synthesis, I haven't done. Not a, not a, not a thing. Okay, well today then, will I? Oh, everything is killing me. What the hell is going on up here? I died. Alright, cool. I'm gonna ignore that then. Um, Landa, Brando, Sika, Joe, Neke, Goose, Zam, and Dunno. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Onwards we go. Uh, can't place a centurion. Can I do? No, no. My orc slayer's off cooldown. Wonderful. Let's pop that down, and that should. Oh no, still four. Okay, that's okay. Uh, right. So I died. Uh, am I be able to? Am I going to be able to reach my corpse without uh, without my um? Shadows. I'm gonna find out! In on raid, yas! In on raid! Smash this sucker, yas! <laughs> Can't do that when you're dead. Why is it sparkling? if I'm going to be close enough to be able to res. And you're going to do the quest line that popped up today. 
Uh, I've picked up a quest. I don't know. Maybe? Uncertain. Okay, I can't get it from this side. Hopefully I'll be able to get it from the other. Hey. Awesome. There were sparklies up there, but, um, I have these more. Why do they glow sometimes, but not always? Because that doesn't always happen when they're glowing. It hurts. It's time to grab dinner. Sounds like a plan. Hope you enjoy your dinner. So there is a bunch of stuff you can make without patterns, but I think they're all pets. Maybe. And I don't have materials for any of them. Good. Good. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> it's so funky though. I like it a lot. Okay. Ooh, pets are at one location, mounts are at another forge. Oh, okay. Noted. Where's the other forge? No, I did this thing. That was fun. Uh, the questline unlocks it. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Everything for Genesis, Motes and Glimmers? Yeah. Yup, ah, it's the way to do it. Finding Tali. Find Tali near the arrangement index, suggested players 3. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, let's go do this mysterious greenery thing, because that did not say suggested players 3. <laughs> Jas, you know, Jas is doing mythic pluses. He's trying to gear up his monk. Because it's uh, just a touch squishy for what he's been trying to do currently, unfortunately. Uh, what the guild's been needing him to do has uh, been a bit rough. He needs a, he needs a weapon. He needs a weapon. start working on dinner soon. So I don't wanna, like, I wouldn't let him do his thing. It sounds so musical and beautiful. We are Circle Co of the Giro. We are here to fix this land. Wow, I understood none of that. Good job, Glibercane. Uh, this place was abandoned for too long. The vegetation has overtaken the land. We must enter the Blooming Foundry to fix it. Until then, clear the area. Remove the deviants who have grown twisted over time. The Blooming Foundry created this area and maintains the Automa, the creatures, and the plants. The overgrowth is its fault. We need to enter the Foundry to fix this land. The constructor can break through when it is working. Many Automa in this area stopped moving long ago. Find usable pieces inside them. Plus need a weapon, things are not going well. Oh, Zam. So sorry to hear that. Do 
lattices aren't unique, are they? No. Apparently I need four of these. Oh, because I'm in a group with Kay. It's telling me I need to... Um, it's telling me I need to put Arcane on you. Whoops. I love how Handy Notes is stuck, like, all the little... Yeah. I'll get them all. Might take a while, but it'll be fine. And once Jas has got it unlocked, the two of us can probably go through and do it together. I really, like, <laughs> hunting down rare stuff like that with Jas is honestly really, really fun. Because he, like, while I'm sitting here trying to figure out what the hell we're supposed to do and where we're supposed to go, he's killing everything in the vicinity. Um, <laughs> and it just, like, so he protects me while I'm reading the notes. And then I'm like, oh, we have to do this. And then he's like, we have to do what? And then like, I demonstrate it and then he'll do it in this totally screwed up way. And I'm like, how did you even manage to make that work? And he's like, oh, DK bullshit go. Like, it's just, it's so much fun. So much fun. I have like multitudes of times wound up crying with laughter just from like gaming sessions with Jazz. It's a bit ridiculous. Uh, I started the day with over 100 free slots. Now, I just now couldn't loot because bags are full. Haven't moved all day. Oh, meaty. Oh, do you have a like a vendor mount that you can mount up on an empty bags? DK Bush it go is correct. Yes, always. It's always correct. It is the answer to all. How many Genesis Moots do I have now? It's 88. I need 22,450. Good! Great! That's fine. <clears throat> A yuck or whatever every so often. Yep. Yep. Selling your now on Bruto. Perfect. All them fishies, put them under auction house. Oh. Cast time. Podcast time. I wanted to buy the auction mount, it was four million short when it was taken away. Ooh, flib. Ouch. That's okay. You can still get it, it just takes a little bit more effort these days and patience. Keeping all that gold on an old, waiting for it to pop up on the AH. Really excited about crafting that space until I saw how long it took to gather the moats. Might do one or two of the cooler ones, but that's it. Oh, I will be doing all of them. Oh, that's my, f is that my first glimmer? Have I sold glimmers? I doubt it. I could have sworn I've seen one of those drop before though. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, got heaps of moats farming for the lattices. Yeah, I figure what I'll do, I'll go for the recipes first. Um, because without the recipes, no point having the fucking mats. Like, uh, and then. Once I've got the recipes and I'll start, I'll start farming for the big things like the lattices and stuff uh, and then work my way down to the smaller ones because I figure a lot of the smaller things will drop while I'm looking for the bigger pieces. Um, I know I won't get all of them that way but then after that I'm sure I can just join a farming group and, and burn through as many as I can in a few hours a day. Well not a day but yeah. Uh, multiple types of glimmers. Ah but we have a different ones. Gotcha. Yeah a glimmer of automation. Animation, sorry, my bad. Wrong word. Ah, crap. Ah, pfft. God damn it. <laughs> you know what? Have one of these. Oh, 
um, this might end up becoming my AFK camping, because at the moment when I AFK camp something while I'm doing other stuff, it's a mount drop, so it's like somewhere in Mechagon or in uh, Vale, like um, Harley and things like that. I think this might become my um, AFK camping for a bit, just waiting for a particular rares to spawn to try to get the recipes from them or whatever. Um. Hi, the sun will. Mm. Ah, Luz! With the resub! Much appre- oh, that means I have to do a bean, doesn't it? Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Let's open up a prediction. There you go. This one is going to be either chocolate pudding or dog food. What do you think? Uh, just heads up, two of the mounts require material that drops in the new raid. I got one of them during LFR. Fantastic! Um, I do- I am, um, raiding with a guild sort of part-time-ish, um, but if I do need to farm LFR for it, then I will. Uh, I'll get around to it. Like, I'm not- honestly, I'm not in no rush. Like, I'm not trying to min-max this. I'm just gonna get it when I get it. I am a busy human. <laughs> I'm very time poor, so it'll just- it'll happen when it happens sort of thing. Uh, I don't really know much about how this place or its inhabitants, uh, but what I do know is magic. I can sense ancient power from the waters near us. Maybe that can help. Let's check out that pond. Take care. Uh, but thank you for the heads up, Flip. Appreciate it. I mean, because you need 22,300, yeah. Won't start the problem. We've got 81 of them in about 30 minutes, yeah. But that's still many, 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 many hours of farming. I'll get there. I'll get there. It'll happen. It'll happen when it happens. Uh, 9.2 will be a long patch. No point trying to brute force it in the first week it's available, yeah. I will, I will take my time farming what I need to farm, uh, and I, I will get there when I get there. I have no doubt that due to my stubbornness, I will get every single one of these bloody mounts. Uh, it will probably take me a couple of years. It, I probably won't be able to get them all before the next expansion hits, but that's okay. I don't need to. There are so many mounts from previous uh, expansions that I don't have yet, and I'm working on them. It will take time, but I will get there. Is that not where I was supposed to be going? No, it wasn't. Good. <laughs> ah, very true. Yes. A song to lift your let's do this. Speaking of let's do this. Ah. I don't have a drink either. But thank you so much, Liz, for your ongoing support and your resub and all that jazz. Much appreciated. Even though it resulted in me eating a dog food flavored bean. Ah, oh dear. <clears throat> My embers. Ha <laughs> dupe. to get a small opening the creature looks like the perfect size for a little pour of mystical water uh, 
Our constructor is ready. We shall start the process to opening the blooming foundry and reset this land. We can start over. Uh, our constructor is re uh, yeah, accept. Let's go. Grab that Automa scrap while we're over there. On the other side, it must be. Oh, it's up. Good. It's on this level. Why? Maybe it's inside. Uh, on to the foundry. We must restore the foundry's power to use it. Conductors will channel, pow channel power so we can use it. We know how to use the conductors. Clear the way and we shall start over. Vent proto pair. What is a proto pair? So confused. Now, oddly, the seed within the Otoma's innards is still very much alive. Are they all like this? Ah, ripen to proto pair. There we go. do that jar of happiness who's ready for another giveaway do we have here you know what we think plus level you can do you try there is no like set what's it we got oh we have a logitech g435 Hair, like headphones in white which is the shade I've got so me it's easy green clothes oh cool okay so this this is the one we're looking at um so the g435 is wireless it also operates on bluetooth so if you like having headphones that you can use with your phone uh, or your Nintendo Switch, they recently released a patch, so you can use it with your Switch. Uh, or anything else that's Bluetooth capable, these ones will do it. Uh, and they're just, they're super cute. They're super cute. They are designed for smaller heads, but the ear cups do move quite a bit of the way down, so it can fit most heads. Uh, the top here is super, super soft, and they are ridiculously light. They're lighter than these ones, and they just, like, I... You can't, the only way I know I'm actually wearing something is the fact that sound is dulled and I can feel them just touching the sides of my face. Everywhere, there's no weight to them. Otherwise, they're just completely, I mean, obviously, depending on the individual, you may feel them heavier than I do, but they are super, super lightweight. So this is what we're giving away. Uh, these are open to Australia only uh, because they're being sent from Logitech and Logitech has that restriction. This is region locked to Australia and you must be following to win. So this is a Logitech G435 headset in white slash lilac. Uh, that is the colorway that this is called because you've got the white parts here and then the lilac bit across the top and the cup. So there's a white lilac. This is the set. Uh, not that set, that's my set. Um, but the exact same colorway is what we're giving away. Uh, so Australia only, must be following to win. Giveaway is open. For the squids! Indeed. Best of luck. Or, you know, if you're like me and have a small head, you can do that too. <laughs> I have a small head. They fit me beautifully. Um, but I also have them, like, I wear them with the cups quite high, so you absolutely could wear them if you had a taller or wider head than I do. Uh, they are designed to be super flexible, so they fit lots of different shapes and sized heads, but they are, they were designed with, um, children or smaller heads in mind, but that doesn't mean that not everyone can use them. Obviously, if your head is on the much larger side, they might be a little bit uncomfortable. 
He's wearing the same ones you are. Yes. Up. We need to go up. Oh, oops, hello. Small heads unite. Yes. Righty, under a minute left to enter. Be sure to do so. Australia only. Must be following to win. I like that stuff is fear stuff. I love that. I love that. Indeed. Indeed. Loves the free stuff. I don't think I know anyone who doesn't. Um, but yep, so headset designed for smaller heads. Uh, white slash lilac coloured. Uh, Australia only and must be following to win. Um, and of course, I will need to ask you for your mailing address if you are the person who wins this. Uh, because I'll need to pass that to Logitech and then they will send you your headset directly. It won't go through me. Uh, big brain equals big head. You calling me silly? Congratulations to Kay. You have won yourself a headset. <laughs> Holy butts! Indeed. Congratulations! Well done. <laughs> um, as for the rest of stream, I, I will contact you either after stream today or in the morning tomorrow uh, to grab a uh, to grab the address from you, and I will pass that along to Logitech, and they will send the uh, the headset to you directly. Congratulations! Thank you so very. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. <laughs> Uh, so what's that? Nine down, three to go. We still have three giveaways for the rest of the stream, so stick around. The celebration ain't over just yet. I love that I'm finally in a position to be able to do this kind of ridiculous stuff. It's so much fun. So much fun. I love their language. It's so beautiful. Language is gorgeous. Add lore who won. K. K won. You would have seen it in chat. Uh, you should still have access to chat while you're in an ad. And you would have seen the message pop up from Koalatron and stuff. Green request chain to gain access, collect pollen crowd inside, bring them to the unripened crota pair to pollinate it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be safer to do that once I've cleared out um, all of the baddies. Um, because that the buff does not last very long. Uh they've been on YouTube for like three months and it's been amazing. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. That's wonderful news. I'm in a pickle. I'm at 0 0.7 embers, so I let it round up or, you know, use it to make it an even 0, zero. Wait, what? How do you have 0 0.7 embers? I thought they were only whole numbers. I'm so confused. 
Taking the pop pop chef hat while you're in there. Uh, I'm guessing that's what's in the pear? Or something? Uh, or maybe you're thinking of the wrong cave. I've got- I've had this. I think I've had the chef hat for a while. Have I? Yeah, I've had the chef hat for ages. I think that was like the first one that I got. So I think you might be thinking of the wrong cave. But they do all look very, very similar, so I do not blame you at all. This is the one that has the uh, ripened proto pear in it. So I have to grab the um, pollen and make it drop out of a tree, I think. Yeah, there's flowers. Oh god. Oh, uh, okay, sure. So that's that last one. Uh, oh. Ramping up. These Ultima should not act like this. They are beautiful, strange, new. We must deliberate before continuing. These are very unusual. Koshira examines the piece of the Ultoma entwined with living vines. This cannot be. Ultoma do not have vines within them, but these Ultoma do. This is beautiful. Um. This quest has no information. Um. I am supremely confused. Hello. Hello. Tasty drink. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Oh, is it peach? Yes. Yay. And grape jelly. Yes. Thank you Anyone so want to get some more jellies? Outside? No, fair. Grape Absolutely. Works. The cock top chop pickle drink now. All of the combinations work. Literally yeah. all of them. How are you doing? Good. I heard that you managed to get your goop. I did! 1,612 costs. Eight and a quarter hours of fishing. At least it only took you one day. True. At least I was able to sit down in one sitting and get it done. Exactly. Yeah. See, you're right. Right. Thank you. What am I going to do? Have you got so one too? Did you get the the jellyfish? Now? Well, no, 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 no. Not that one. Show me the jellyfish. I don't think I can mount in here. Then walk out. Then mount. Then show me the jellyfish. Look it. It's perfectly correct. It cuts through my. Um. <laughs> you, you have cuts a bit of a robe. horn through your robe there. Oh no. Clipping! But yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So Absolutely now what are you doing? Gorgeous. Uh, now I am turning on the mount making machine. Ah, that's I think. Good. I think that's what I'm doing. I actually don't really know. Um, I'm doing quests! <laughs> what are you up to? Ah! What are we having? Food. Um, food, good. What were you about to say? I was going to say, oh, silver side, and then I'm like, no, we've no, run out of silver side. <laughs> yeah. I made it all yesterday. Big chonker. Chonky slice. It was so good. Yes. So good. Right. Woo! That's yeah. delightful. Like, really, really tasty, by the way. Good. Uh, told the constructor that we will use the foundry to reset this land. We must stop it and protect the new Ultoma. Defeat the charged constructor. Uh, oh. But we just fixed it! Why do we now have to break it? Because it's a dick, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You're a silly. Did you did you see what mount my makeup was? Yeah, the blood bath. Sorry, the what what? The blood bath, frost brood, vanquisher. How many mounts have seven syllables? Not very many. No. <laughs> the two that you got from uh, from what's it? But yeah. Nice so Oh, Just that's right. You did. Yeah. So <laughs> my so bayard. Yes. My bayard. Thank you so much for the tea and thank you for I'm making back. dinner. See you soon. Careful. Mm -mm. I'm a liquid to hydrate. Yep. It's a tip your waiter. <laughs> oh, he's so kind. So generous with his time. Uh, Pokeball, Candle, Pepe, Parrot Hat. My favourite server. The candle is awesome. It's super cute. Um, it's not working right. So you got to hit it. Always makes, always works to make things correct themselves. You might not be wrong, but uh, how many hydrates do you have waiting? Enough. <laughs> Enough. Uh, and that's not just me being an idiot. That's like, it's genuinely, I have like a lot waiting. So it'll be fine. 
Uh, Fade, Fairy, Loza, Zam, Meaty, Clenchy, Solstice, Roy, and Ali. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Can I also just say that I love that all the giveaways so far, there haven't been any double ups. Like, everyone has like, what, like, you know what I mean? Like no one has, has gone and taken like three prizes or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's cool. That's really cool and awesome and stuff. Um, okay, let me, I was just noticing like all these names that I had down the side of the thing. I was like, oh wow, all of them are different. It's kind of cool. Uh, flag bearer, plonk. Hmm. Hmm. Always covered if you're around. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. At least it seems like they're gonna help me. They are fantastic. about new creatures that are infused with living growth. Well, that sounds right up my alley. I think I'll stay with them and see how I can help, and maybe I'll pick up their language as well. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me, friend. All things in balance. What have you found, Pock Pock? Oh, it's that thing again. Okay, uh, here we go. So we're gonna go back in. And we're gonna try to do this pear thing. So there's a pollen cloud here. There's one up top. <clears throat> oh, maybe it's not here, maybe it's like up up. Oh no, there's, it's over there. Why is it a dot up here? Or do we have to take them one at a time? Freeze. We have to take them one at a time. Alright. Take food first. Shuffling things around so I can take food. Yes, food. Ooh! Snossage! I like, I like snossage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, I brought it back out of the kitchen. Snossage and gems. Can I get rid of that and then grab another one? I can. Awesome. Just have to carry one cat at a time. Take the story apart. Here we go. Enjoy meal. Thank you. Chef tax. Chef tax. Love it. Strange the pairs of fed next, so I kept using that sure if that was a bug or not. Ooh, the hot tip, thank you. Um Is it down there? It is down there. Uh oh. One. Do I have like a time limit to do these in? Because I don't see a timer anywhere. I imagine it'd probably like reset at the daily reset or something like that, but it doesn't look like there's anything dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it was. Look, it, it disappears now. Oh, uh, well. That's okay. Um. Oh, 
problems of adulting to do. Not a problem, Flip. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you soon, I'm sure. Potato gems? Yep, I'm so jealous. Look, this is what happens when we're like, what do we do for food? Have we got anything in the house? No? Uh, okay. How about we get something frozen? Uh, <laughs> not the healthiest meal, but definitely a delicious one. Yeah. I think there was a cloud down here, wasn't there? Yep, there is. <clears throat> it's growing. Oh, this one has respawned. Call him Crockpot before. No? Who did I call Crockpot? I didn't call Jas Crockpot, if that's what you're asking. There we go. Yay! Surprised that didn't count as an ATT piggy. Um. Crockpot. I don't remember saying that. I mean, I could have, but I don't. Pocka Pock. No, I did say Pocka Pock, but maybe like the first half of the syllable or something got cut off. I don't know. You could have had like half a second of buffering, maybe, that that cut it off or so. I don't know, but yeah, no, I I definitely called him Pocka Pock. Um, I know we I know we're calling him Coca Pops. Uh, I've also seen a few people in, in chat and stuff calling him uh, Pokeball. Which I think is adorable too. <laughs> Any nicknames? Cocopox is my favourite. Yep. Yep. Pokepok is infinitely nicknameable. Like, legit. Um. Afternoon, Draz. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay, um, so I need to go find Tali. This is apparently a three-person quest, so let's see what happens. Good. It was worth a try. Yeah, no, tanks, it doesn't matter. Um, very much different. I'm so angry. I'm not really, but I'm like so close. <laughs> I've already clicked that, you numpty. Could you now creeping up? Okay, well that's the point, isn't it? Keep on keeping on. We'll get there eventually. Sorry about that screech. That really pisses me off, Sam. <laughs> this is why I don't tend to pug Mythic Glass. Like, people don't care. 
about like people are just inconsiderate like super super inconsiderate whereas if i'm doing it with say a group of you guys i feel like you guys are at least going to be like well this sucks and just try to get through it rather than just kind of alter fouring <clears throat> the rest of the stream thank you dunno much appreciated we will see you next time Okay. It Tali, is only echoes now. Beautiful day. Even now, this place is beautiful. We meet once more. The Ultoma were once abundant here, singing, constructing various things, carrying out the purpose of the first ones, then invaders from the moor slaughtered them all. The last Ultoma to fall were protecting something important in a nearby structure. I witnessed one of the cursed moorsworn steal a device by the door. The elders say we should not meddle with the artifacts, but it would be a trans but would it be a transgression to recover what was stolen? Go on, then. <clears throat> oh, I know where we are. Okay, yeah, we're good. Pity there's not a world quest down here at the moment, otherwise there'd be, like, tons of people just killing everything. as architect. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> Thank you, Pocka Pock. Oh, it's actually pointing at something else. I uh, still loot at the end if you feel the time. Exactly. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it still counts towards your bloody vault if you don't time it as well, so... Mm, yeah, exactly, Kaz. Like, <laughs> I'm finished with four people anyway. Perfection, Sam. Hello, Murray! Yes! Six years! How bonkers is that? Shall we converse? Might I go with you next time? Hmm. This Otome has been hiding here. I suspect it will not be receptive to our help. I'm hesitant to suggest this, but if the Servitor were to associate you with this facility, might be more amenable. If you have the means, copy the glyphs inscribed on similar automa outside. Those that the more have touched will be tainted, but I saw from my vantage point a few fallen automa in the sands with untarnished glyphs. glyphs. Um, sacred should not be disturbed, but will the elders judge us if we help it survive? This is preservation, not interference. I hope. We can power it back up. Use this depleted core as a conduit. Perhaps the larger wild animates in the nearby sands have enough energy to charge it. Time again to rest. So we need to... Out we get. Uh, okay. So... Out. <clears throat> I am Thanks. grateful. Ah, no name provided. Thank you very much for the boba tea earrings. Super cute. I'm so excited. They are just absolutely adorable. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Good morning, Nutty. How are you going? It's like awesome. Someone threw it earlier today. Yes, aren't they just this? They're just adorable. They're so cute. They were, they were a suggestion from Shiba. 
They were a suggestion from Shiva. Ah, fuck it. Okay, yeah, all three of them at once is gonna kill me. Good. It has them. Ah, yeah, Siri. Oh, best of luck. I think it'd probably be end up being cheaper just buying it off eBay, though. Honestly. <laughs> oh dear. Less fun, obviously, but a hell of a lot cheaper. Enjoy your lurk, dupe. Mm, okay. Um. Hi, the sun. Well. Says. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi, the sun. Well. Stang, thank you so much. For the 10 gifted subs. Goodness gracious, congratulations to everyone who got struck by the gift by the, the sun sub bomb. Well. Big congrats. I guess I have to do 10 beans now, don't I? God damn it. Um uh, Hi, the sun well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And also crisper kits for your resub as well. Much Hi, appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys. Oh, and we're four minutes away from triggering a hype train. Sunway. FYI. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Whoa, Nelly is right. Hi, the sun. Um, just making coffee and fully waking up. Fantastic. Well, I hope your coffee is wonderful and fulfills its purpose. It's a lot of beans, it is a lot of beans. Seem to be dodging the substance. Oh, Murray, no way. That's okay. Look, you just stick around and it's what happens, eh? You, you, you will get there. You'll get there. Hi, the sun well. Ah, uh, thank goodness you have a drink now. I know, right? And a tasty one at that to wipe out the disgusting taste of the horrible beans I'm about to have to eat. <laughs> I All of the bug dump truck beans. No, I don't want dump truck beans. I want tasty beans. Tasty beans. Welcome. Thank you, Sting. And Chris with a gifted sub someone. as well. Goodness gracious. I'll pop another bean in the pile. Thank you. Thank you so much. So generous. Oh my goodness, you guys. Hi, the sun. And Kay with a gifted sub to Murray. <laughs> that is so kind of you. And another bead in the pile. Hi, the sun went. I guess we better get cracking, hey? Let's get a, uh, what's it? Prediction happening. Yum or yuck. <laughs> Yum or yuck. Make your prediction. And we will nom a bean shortly. All of the hype. All of the hype, Goose. Uh, Ross, can't afford substance when COVID in the way. Of course. Of course. I, I completely understand that. And, like, honestly. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves before you take care of Fia. That's always been like number one rule here. I definitely appreciate all of the support, financial and non. Like, love that. Amazing. All of that. But yeah, definitely make sure you're taking care of yourselves before you take care of Fia. Because, uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. And we've got a level four hype train at 43%. You guys. <laughs> Second hype train of the day. That is unbelievable. Okay, next week's so a few spare dollar dues is such a good feeling, hey? Having leftover money when you know money's coming soon. Something, something savings. Yuck, Lego. Uh, all right, let's let's eat one and see. Hmm. 
think that's coconut. It tastes like coconut. <laughs> Look, it might not be. It certainly tastes like it. Choo choo, indeed. Hi, the sun. Well, Jesus Christ. Ten gifted subs Hi, from Ali. Oh my God. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need an open a new packet. Hi, the sun. I need two more beans out of a new pack. They're all the same flavors. Hi, the sun. Um, they're all the same flavors. Just Christmas packaging instead of the other packaging. Hi, the sun. Well, God, thank you so much. I hear how trained you did. Oh my God, Lars! <laughs> Fire! Oh my God! Hi, the sun. Well, Jesus Christ! Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Holy cow! All right, so I need two more beans out of this pack for Ali's. Hi, the sun. Right. Well. One, two, and then five for Loz. So one, two, Hi, the sun three, well. three, four, five. There we go. And now I gotta get cracking. <laughs> Hi, the sun well. Now we gotta get cracking. Um. Holy cow! Couldn't resist. No, don't apologize. Good lord! Never apologize for supporting somebody. My God. The sun well. Get on the fork. My God! Thank you so much. That is ridiculous and amazing. Uh, who thinks Fia has been training herself to cope with crap beans so she can say yep? No, not at all. Hey, I've been I've been spitting out plenty. Thank you very much. Ah! Ah! Oh, and thank you so much for that last gift to sub to Desia. Sun well. Holy cow, 223% of level five. Oh my God. You guys are just absolutely bonkers and amazing. And Hi, the sun well. Holy cow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Okay. Hi, the sun well. There we go. Another prediction, let's do it. Hmm. Hi, the Damn. sun well. But that's okay. Oh, I hope you're feeling much, much better soon. <laughs> Stang! With the Hi, five the gifted well. subs! Oh my gosh. There you go. I got a new emote. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Okay, where's... Five Hi, more. The sun well. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. If I don't finish them all today, I, I will continue on eating them tomorrow and stuff. But yeah, look, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, Hi, the sun. Are we yumming or yucking? Uh, bean boozled jelly beans. Um, every every sub, resub, five bucks or five hundred bits sun well. is making me eat a bean. Uh, and we've just had a few sub bombs in our hype train. So I have a lot of beans to eat, <laughs> basically. Oh, Lord. Hi, the sun well. He doesn't get sick from the bad taste. You will buy the sugar alone. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What is this? Ah, interesting. Must be how I spawn Garadon. Yeah. Mm, nestlings. Yeah. Alright. We good to go? Good to go. Stink bug. Oh god, that's so horrendous. That has to be the worst one out of a lot of them. It literally just tastes like fart. Like, it, I do not know how else to explain it. It tastes like liquid fart. Uh, 
Um, what are you trying to spawn? Nothing. I'm just doing a quest. Uh, but Garadon just showed up, so I can join in with that one. Maybe it was just because I was scared on the top there. So you feed, you feed the bunny, the, the birds. You feed the bunnies to the birds, which look, just accept it. And then the other one, and then Garrett on up there spawns. <clears throat> um. Some truck bean, yep, ew, very ew, super gross, terrible. Uh, start prediction, another one. Yum or yuck? actually killed this one yet. Survive till the end of my cast. <laughs> oh no, it did. Gosh, that's a few. Oh! Cool. There's a. Inside the chamber of shaping. I'm guessing that's something I have to get access to. It doesn't seem to have like an entry. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go turn these in. Woo! I'm sure the meds so much you ate the fart bean. Yeah, apparently so. Except I spat it out. I didn't spit my meds out. Six years. Thank you, Brick. I hope you're doing well. I am. I am. Tired, but well. I mean, what 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 has changed? <laughs> what has changed? Uh, is there an add-on where you can make in-game notices? Uh, define notices. Okay, random question. Have you noticed any improvements with your new air purifier yet? Um, to you. I've noticed that the smell of the room has changed significantly. Like, it smells almost sort of closer to a, a hospital room a little bit. Um, but, like, not in a bad way. I know the hospitals smell like bleach and, and all that kind of stuff. But it smells kind of, the air smells a little bit sweet and um, kind of... A little more like sterile I don't know it's a really weird try it doesn't smell like bleach it doesn't smell like chemicals but it smells clean not that it didn't before but it more so yeah um but I haven't noticed anything with my sinuses unfortunately um they are still being wonky and stuff but that's that's okay look what that means is that when I go back to my doctor to complain about my sinuses I can say I got an air purifier and it didn't help I can add it to the list of things that haven't helped, which might help them narrow down what the hell's going on inside my head. That's okay. Um, I do love it though. It really, honestly, it almost acts like a like a pedestal fan type thing as well. Um, so, but it like with clean air, so it's really, really lovely. Like I have really enjoyed because it often um, because I have the blinds down because I have to for stream I don't often open them and then open the windows so I don't often get a whole lot of fresh air in here 
Um, and because the corridor is the only way out and it's super thin, th there's no airflow into this room. Uh, so it does get quite stagnant in here sometimes. So having it does, it makes it feel like I've opened the window for a little bit, um, which is really nice. It's like nothing. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Depends on which one. And what I was supposed to be like, yeah, of course, of course. Um, but yeah. Okay. Whatever happens, happens. Happy adventuring. Awakening the servitor. Uh, there might be some like notepad add-ons that you could write things for yourself, but I don't think um, you'd be able to send them to other people. I know ERT, Exorcist Raid Tools, used to have a feature where you could write notes on like a boss mechanics or like assignments, like do this and then, you know, this interrupt rotation and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And that would push out to everyone in the raid who also had ERT. Um, but... I don't know if it still does that. It's been a long, like I'm talking multitudes of years since I've used that. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, he's doing Surrender Zone. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Thanks. <laughs> I like that one. That's cute. Hello, Mr. Businessman Guy. How you doing? Alright. Congrats to Mick, Dunno, Alliance, Zam, Solstice, and Kledgy on all of your bonus shit. Uh, we are going to head up to that skin chest for those of you who don't have the skins yet, and I'm going to eat a bean. Birthday cake. Says on cooldown, Centurion is not. <clears throat> I'm so long. I'm so I'm so glad I'm not fishing still. <laughs> this is a good feeling. Zero of six. Ah! Unlocking the necromancer. Wonderful. There we go. I'm feeling sad for myself. You'll get it eventually. Like, absolutely. And I bet you it'll take fewer casts than it did me. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Coda! Support has arrived. The restoration may commence. I need to go outside again. Why? Am I crafting yet something to farm for? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you been to a mailbox this evening? No, but I have a Katie. Thanks for your 
patience. How can I help you? Ah. <laughs> Another meeting. Thank you so much. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Oh, did you hear that? Katie said no one sends love letters anymore. That's so sad. Oh, bad. Like seriously, were you waiting for me to pull those so that you could run past? Like, what are you? What are you doing? It's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much, matey. That is so kind of you. There's no vested interest. What did you send her? Hey, good night, it's 2am. Ah, oh, rest well, Stang. Thank you so much again for all of your generosity. Rest well, and we will see you next time. I will absolutely have a fantastic rest of stream. We've still got a couple giveaways left to, to do, and yeah, I'm... This has been a fantastic day. I'm seriously, like, so enjoying myself. So that hurt. Um. It seems so cute. It is. What time are you stopping the stream? It'll be a 12 hour stream. I thought there was a bit run randomly. Does someone with fear? Oh, yes. I know. I know the fear, Meaty. I know the fear. Um, but yeah, you're always welcome to ask me to check stuff like that. If Katie's off cooldown, obviously. Um, or if it doesn't require me to go too much out of my way, I'm always happy to swing by a mailbox or something if it puts someone's mind at ease. Very welcome. Thank you, Stang. Much appreciated. Buck -a -buck go! Oh, you died. Resummon! Oh, I can't do that right now. Okay, so the prediction's finished. It is. Oh, good lord, that one was terrible. Oh my god. Dirty dishwater. You mean pizza? Of course! Of course. No, totally fine. Um, yeah, no, that was, that was dirty dishwater. It somehow tastes like herbal blue tack. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just so nasty. <clears throat> yep, dump truck bean. You got what you wanted, X. Damn, wish I had pizza. I have snags and potato gems. I'm pretty happy with that. It's one of the ones. How do they make it taste so accurate? Yeah, right? And, and what about the poor people whose job it is to taste test it and go, yes, that is precisely what dirty dishwater tastes like. Like... <laughs> Oh, those poor, like, oh my god. Yep. <clears throat> Apparently there is a um, recipe, a mount recipe in here. Oh god, that's a lot of health. I'm gonna need all my cooldowns for that. <laughs> uh, sorry, not sorry. We have roast beef and veggies, shouldn't complain. I mean, look, we are allowed to desire other foods while not actually complaining about the food that we have. It's, it's, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Give sub. Yay, Angel! Did you get your group? I did! Eight hours and 15 minutes of farming. Eight hours and 15 minutes of fishing, and I got it. Mmm, <clears throat> hot dogs and potato chips for TMO. Not hot dogs, they're snags, they're like proper sausages. 
Uh, I imagine this taste is not Don't feel like I'm being told they need to go back and make it taste more authentic. Yep. I figure I had to make up for predicting yuck all day. Desire triple chocolate cake. Yes. Fear mad, I suggest you take that one out on the other side of the room. As the two middle mobs will respawn and fuck you up. Oh, good. Good. Get out here, you bonker. No, keep coming. Another interrupt in ten seconds. <clears throat> That is mine. Thank you. Why is this orb on my head? Oh, that's what I just spell stole. Good. I'm aided by an aggression sentry. Oh, you're actually kind of little. get the recipe yet because I don't have it unlocked yet. Is that the problem? Must be. <clears throat> We're gonna for sure. Yeah. Wah, it was clutch. It was clutch. Oh, you had hot dogs. Gotcha. Understood. Uh, how many casts was it? 1,612. Today you already got your gift. Uh, interrupt session cast. Nah, spell still. Uh, if I mage it, it will die just instantly. Uh, she got this one. Melee. Sure, melee. Sentry not interrupting equals death. Yep. Spell still! I can't be screwed dealing with that one again, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Cheeky! I don't think so. Something tells me we're gonna win. It might be the uh, the fact that there's a dev stream coming up announcing the next expansion, which probably wouldn't exist if the Jaylee remade the entire world. Or maybe he wins and we get Warcraft 2.0. God, if they took away all my collectibles, I would scream. I would be so angry. Uh, be that time. Rest well, X. We will see you next time. Thank you so much for the company and the hydrates and all of the fun times. Uh, an interesting way to do things. You've approved a mount you've seen that's a particular favorite. Honestly, no. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of looking into most of them just because I knew I couldn't make them yet. Uh, and I want all of them, so yeah, but I mean, maybe they will be? I'm not too sure yet. Not too sure yet. I do love the wombats, though. They're just, they're just super cute. They're just super cute. Uh, but we have cracked 8pm, so we should have three more to go, right? One, two, three. We do have three more to go. It just doesn't look like it when you look in the, in the jar. It cost 15 percent no end in sight. At least you've gotten a new mount out of your fishing stream. Yes. Yeah, look, the, the sea ray takes a long time. It takes a long time. Bubble Tea Club, 25 Australian dollar gift card. Who is Kane? Who is Kane? Bubble Tea Club, 25 AUD gift card. This is this giveaway is not associated with Bubble Tea Club. I am affiliated with them, but I have purchased these gift cards and I am the one giving them away, uh, not Bubble Tea Club. They ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. 
So that is where you are able to use, like if you live in one of those countries, you are going to be able to use this gift card. Otherwise, unfortunately, they don't ship to you just yet. Um, so you won't be able to, to use this one. Um, and I'm gonna probably die. <laughs> Good. I'm trying to get out of the way and I feel like I'm gonna get things respawning on my head. So must be following to win. You will need to have an Australian, New Zealand, United States, or Canadian shipping address to be able to use this prize. I am dead. Giveaway's open. Ah, yes, Heart Bond Lupin. I have, I've, I've heard of that. I haven't actually had a look, but I've, I kind of have thought of, I've seen the name of it and I figured that's probably the one Jas would be interested in. And we were talking about how, um, like, you know, Phoenix is to fear as Wolf is to Jas. Like, that's, like, it's his thing. So I reckon he'll probably love that one once he gets his hands on it. Uh, so anyway, um. <laughs> this is a very nice gray gold with white wings. Brilliant. Goodness gracious me. Spot the bubble tea lovers! I mean, pretty much my entire community. Not everyone, obviously, but well, a lot of them. A lot of them. It might be my fault. I'm cool with that. Don't judge us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, even if you don't win, definitely check out Bubble Tea Club. They are phenomenal. Like, at home, DIY, make from scratch bubble tea that's really easy to make. Like, it is supremely easy to make. Uh, so yeah, definitely, like, up. The orb? Oh no, maybe it's up. Ah! Fury in Exile Part 7! Okay, I'm gonna help you kill these without pulling aggro. This is the right thing to do. But I'm also gonna grab this achievement. Thing. Um, so I'm gonna try bubble tea. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> mm. I already have it according to ATG. Brilliant. It is one I think that you can purchase off the auction house as well. Oh, good luck with the pond nettle. Like, honestly, best of luck. Can't live without bubble tea? Hell yes. Hell yes, nothing else. Creamy, they sell freaking amazing for chai. Yes, coffees and hot chocolates if you happen to not be into tea. Their creamer is just great. Like, it's it's so good. I, I usually buy, now that they sell stuff separately as well, um, I tend to buy uh, an extra bag of creamer or two when I make my orders just so I can use it in, for, like, chais and stuff like that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. It's so good. The death of me. I was buying it today. I was reporting the Great Sea Ray wasn't too horrid to farm up. No, it was always a really rare drop. I have had two of them. Um, I got really lucky with my first drop, and then I was actually, like, I got it while I was leveling my fishing in BFA, and then um, I accidentally got another one when I think I was fishing up fish to level my cooking or something. Like, there was a reason I was doing it, and it happened to drop. Um, but uh yeah oh it was easy on the ah oh, interesting okay um i didn't realize that because when i managed to get both of mine it wasn't easy it just like the, the drop rate was really low but i just happened to get lucky mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> just is you have won Congratulations. Well done. Um, I will just confirm you do have a shipping address in either Australia, New Zealand, the United States, or Canada, because otherwise you won't be able to use it. <clears throat> just 
just want to confirm that you can actually use the prize. <laughs> Australian, fantastic, awesome. Don't dox yourself, don't go any further, but um, fantastic, great to hear. I will be in contact with you as well as obviously everyone else who has won stuff. Um, I will need an email address from you so that I can email you it as a, it's a, e, like a digital gift card. Um, so I'll email that to you, uh, but I'll contact you either after stream today or tomorrow morning-ish to, to get that detail from you, uh, depending on how screwed I am after stream today <laughs> but i will definitely reach out in the next like, 48 hours to to grab the info uh, and get that sent off to you so congratulations again we have two more giveaways left to do today so be sure to stick around excuse me for those where am i going where do i have to turn these in oh in the printiform deposit where is that not in here I guess not. Fantastic. Let us run! Some brilliant congratulations again. A long list of people to contact tomorrow or today or whenever. It's going to be great. Get all the information. But yeah, it'll be via Twitch DM. So just keep an eye on your Twitch DMs. Um, no need to like rush to, to respond or anything. Like there's no time limit on that. I don't... Oh, there might be on some... Actually, before I say that <laughs> but um just get back to me when you can uh, i know time zones can be funky and people are busy and stuff like that so yeah just get back to me as soon as you can and i'll get all the stuff off to where it needs to go and everyone gets their prizes i'm so excited excuse me go away all the way away yep final song Ooh. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be a tricky one, I think. Oh, Death Run is acquired as part of the unlock chain. There you go. That's why you were saying you'll have it soon. Good. Gotcha. <clears throat> so what does this do? This one. Oh, ow. Good lord. Defending Coda. I know I'm defending Coda, but is Coda helping me? Oh, lord, that hurt. And I'm still in combat, so I can't eat or recover at all. Yum -yum. <laughs> nope. Let's go. Prediction started. We have so many beans to get through. I think we're going to have to be eating some beans tomorrow as well. the elders this is all my fault may you find oh no 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 no! what have i done the elders will never take me back they shall cast me out as they did for him please outsider speak to elder amir in pilgrim's grace give him my thanks for sending you and tell him all that has happened here he will understand why i must never return whatever happens happens oh i'm sorry crota i hope that wherever you are you can still dream Oh, that's heartbreaking. And now we try to escape without paying attention to literally anything. I do not like where the mount one is located.
Oh, there it is. Uh, Mostly stealthy for 15 minutes. It's pretty awesome, hey. I just, I can't talk to most of them yet. I've only done like one stage of unlocks for them because um, I was saving my ciphers for other things that I consider to be more valuable. But it is quite cool. I'm definitely not angry at it. Zareth the Covetous. Let's see him with Buckle Buck's help fair. Very good. Jazz. 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 Hey, Jazz. Hey, Jazz. Look at my sword. <laughs> God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. And to be quiet. Talia's alive and you preserved an Ultima archive with her help? Oh my, that is a lot to take in. And of course, her guilt has prevented her from returning home. Oh, Talia, he is getting loopy. Excuse me, have you seen my sword? <laughs> that just dropped. That's what the ATT noise was. It's beautiful. And it's exactly my color. <laughs> Nice lightsaber. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay. Oh, it's Tully. Wait, hang on. Didn't he literally just? Oh, hang on. Come out, Tully. You were never were good at hiding from me. I do not deserve to return home, Elder Amir. Because of my actions, Coda, I mean, an Automa, has sung its final song. Elder Amir says, have you forgotten the lesson that our home teaches us? When one cannot deserve grace, one can only receive it. Tali says, I am ashamed, but I will not refuse the gift of the first ones. I will receive it. Elder Amir says, well done. I am glad that you are home. Morwalker, look, we've been studying this Automa's component for some time. Its ciphers are similar to those of the components near and within the protoform repository. Koda's last effort should not be in vain. Please return this component to the repository that our friend restored. Until we need one small. Let's go make some mounts. Well, let's go see what we need to make some mounts. What? Catalyst. Oh, I have to actually take it. Okay, good. Ah. Uh, I've never seen anything follow me as far as the console, not even from directly outside. Yet yeah, there's a there's a little orb that pew pews things at the doorway, and I think it must just be really, really effective. Um so to find Jas. Off to tell Jas to look at the screen. Yeah. He's in a mythic plus. That's why he wasn't responding. He's uh trying to keep people alive, which is fair. Which is fair. Uh it's a hunter weapon. You're a hunter weapon. Welcome on in Alliance. Welcome to chat. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Lightsaber, fear is Sith confirmed. I mean, did you not think so? <laughs> what? D did you honestly think any different? Genuinely. Ooh. 
Uh, Zim mount system uh, is my favorite, though I'm biased. I've now made 14 of the 24. Well done. Well done. Oh, I just need oh, to the alliance. Rep. Yeah. We'll get there. Die sword more important. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I might agree. Uh. He might get in trouble, and I don't want him getting in trouble. He's been very polite when he's had problems with group members today. I saw him having a conversation with a, a DK tank about, please, could you potentially use Marrow Rend? <laughs> Which was very, like, it was very nice. So what does this say? On top of the square pylon next to the ramp. Oh, I see. That's for a pet, but that's okay. Terra Jelly for the Aurelid thingy. Good. Uh -oh. Now I don't have any, uh, any uh-ohs. Oh no, there we go. Hey! But now it means that I can actually go and hunt down some, some patterns and stuff, which would be fun. Um, the gift sub, yay, Izzy! Oh, battle. Oh, I didn't realize Jess was a healer. I thought he mained a demon hunter tank. Guess I was wrong. Uh, he mains a DK, Death Knight tank, blood DK. Uh, but he's he's one of those people who can literally pick up anything and learn it within a week or so and be like hella proficient within a week or so. Um, so he also has a monk that he tanks heals and DPSs on. Uh, he just doesn't usually like, usually he'll focus on getting the DK up and then do like play the monk like whenever. Um, but his guild's currently having a bit of a bit uh, some issues with um, different roles and being in various supply um so he leveled up didn't level up it was already max level uh but he geared up the monk very bloody quickly uh and is working on getting a weapon for it so that because it's been he's been healing on it uh in in raids um because that's what they need and he, all he wants to do is experience the content he doesn't care so much about what he's experiencing the content on um he just wants to experience it and uh, in order to do so they need a healer so he's a healer Jas is an incredible player. Like, he's genuinely very, very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jas wears many hats. DPS in these dungeons. Yay! Oh, awesome, Jas. Good to hear. You deserve a break from healing. Cheers up, everybody and I both had a craving for ice cream, so guess who's getting some? Yas. Jas is just brilliant. Agreed. Agreed. Are you talking about me? Uh, I'm not sure. Do the things that we're saying apply to you? <laughs> I don't know too, too much about you, Lucky. I know a lot about Jas, but not, not tons about you. Um, okay, so we have choose an outcome, because I haven't done that yet, because I'm distracted by mounts. Hair. Yeah. Alliance, Mick, Ali, Goose, Dunno, Little, Dan, Zam, and Ruff. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. You choose nowhere near DK on my keyboard. How would on earth would autocorrect move from DK to DH? Maybe you've typed to DH more often than DK and it doesn't recognize DK as a word. So it's like, oh, maybe it's DH. Mine does that sometimes. It's very silly. Ah, uh, did you get some new mounts? I got one new mount so far. I got the, um, the deep, deep, what's it, Auralid. The one from Heracon. I got the strange goop and I went and did the stuff. It took me 1,612 casts. It was an experience. Uh, <laughs> but we got there. So I got that today. Uh, and now I'm unlocking the protoform synthesis me uh, tank. Tank. Uh, uh, what's it making thing? Um, mount making machine. Do wacky. Do hickey. Opponent returned. Greetings, architect. Mm. 
an Immortal 6 Protoform Synthesis? I do. Jean's Architect. Coda, is that you? Coda. New architect. The architect's prototype designs to fulfill the architect's prototype designs to fulfill the purposes of the first ones. This archive contained many such designs. A number of design entries are lost or corrupted due to the more invasion. An untouched design lattice and tools are detected nearby. The mortal will retrieve them to begin the synthesis process. Ah. The amount got yay! Fantastic root indeed. You're very welcome, Alliance. 3D mount printer, correct. That is exactly what this is. Mount printer forged 3D, yes. What is that? And do I want to, like, I kind of want it to stick in something. I don't know. I probably shouldn't use that. <clears throat> Have the necessary materials been located? Success. The protoform repository is now restored. How to create Death Runner? <laughs> Begin protoform synthesis. Death Runner! Ooh, pale regal servid. Complete Purim study of the ciphers of the first ones to unlock this schematic. Sentience crown. <laughs> oh, I need so many of them. At least I have 563. Uh, about to be much, 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 much less. Create! Let's have a mount, please. Synthesized. Mount get. Uh, and now we're going to go and turn the other one into the pet one. Terra Jilly. Uh, free mount! Look at new mount. Death Runner. Can't do that. Um, I think we looked at it before. Yeah, it looks like um, there's, a, there's a rare that uses the exact same model. Except maybe not with the uh, saddle. <laughs> Um, I've killed it a few times. Very pretty. But it's shiny. No, it's a Giro. I can't, I can't use it. Uh, what's this? That was the one inside, right? The Raptorus Super in the sh Chamber of Shaping. So let's... <clears throat> run. Yeah, as quickly as we can. Open that. Then invis. Grab that. Then go back to Oribos. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. Um, it looked like Daft Punk horse get red deer. Yes. Yes. All right. I really need to go to the bathroom. I will be back shortly. Run away, little girl! Run away!
did run away. Very well at running away. Okay. So now that I can get those patterns, I think I want to. But first, I need to have another bean. So yuck or yum. Very welcome. Uh, handy notes will tell you where stuff is. Just keep collecting things from the map until they're all gone. It's the way I do it. Uh, okay. One time treasure. If treasure's open prior to armor, the schematic can be found here. Oh, I remember what. No, no, I don't. Okay, so that's. Patterns within patterns. And then the other one is from the Enlightened Broker Supplies as Paragon. Found here, but where is where is here? Green Maybe that is where I is. Um, can we maybe? Hmm. To all twelve creatures. I did do that one. Cool. All right. So I do vaguely. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Glad you understand and realize that. Look. Okay. So what we're looking for. I do remember climbing to this one. <clears throat> Look. Yes, that's right, Fear. Collect every enemy on your way through. All of them. Climb the mountain. Yes, I know, I've done it already, which is why the treasure wasn't on the map. No, I don't. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, look, you're not wrong. Jesus. That's hilarious. What am I in combat with? That dude. I thought I had climbed up to there from like town, which is why I, I couldn't remember it. But no, I do absolutely remember doing this. It took me um, a little while to get up there because of all the jumps you gotta make. Now we wait. <laughs> uh, good. Choose outcome. Yeah. Mm, Major League Quick gives you flow more. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Even like a like a an illusion, you know the um. The, the enchantment appearances. That'd be cool. Hmm, well done, Seeker. Good job. 
An illusion? What are you hiding? Mm. What indeed? Okay, so I'm heading in that direction, but I'm pretty sure I hopped up this way. Let me confer with my sources. No. no. Star prediction. Dumb or yuck. Go. This is gonna be a good time to sh to to like chew through some of these beans, Keck. Um, because I'm gonna have to wait for my um door to come off, cool down every time. It takes some time. Hmm. That's right, I went up this way. Miss Legion being new content. It was good fun. It was good fun. I liked Legion. Then again, I have to say, I am also really enjoying Shadowlands. I know that seems to be an unpopular opinion, but I really, really am. Okay. Sure, it's coconut. Hmm. Even though so Oh no, I should be fine. It's just um that Dora Shadows takes a little while to come off cooldown. That's all. No biggie. Shadowlands. I'm I'm really really enjoying it, honestly. But if you're not, if people out there are not enjoying Shadowlands, that's okay. You were entitled to your opinions just as we were entitled to ours. Don't feel like, you know, but um, you know, I'm really enjoying it. The story isn't my favorite, but everything else is great. And the story not great part is my more my disappointment of how they messed with what I consider to be Sylvanas' core motivations. Okay, interesting. Yeah, look, her her getting in with the jailer does seem kind of um uh, what's it? Selfish. Uh whereas she has always been like she will do anything and everything. Anything and everything to secure the future of the undead's su survival. Right? Like that it does not matter how morally grey or even how morally black it happens to be. She will do anything that it takes to secure the undead's future. And so it does seem a little bit straight. Like, it seems a bit selfish, her pairing up with the Jailer. But at the same time, the Jailer could have promised her the power to keep the undead alive and continue it. Do you know what I mean? So, like, we're not... I don't think we've really been given enough information about what the jailer offered her in return for her services. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's my my perception anyway. Like, obviously, everyone's free to have their own uh, feelings on that, but it could be. It could still match up with her core motivation being the, like, the survival of her, her people. Um, we just we just don't know. We don't have enough info. Um, all things I don't like about Shadowlands, especially the story, but wow, as a whole, is still all kinds of fun. I'm glad. I think I'm experience real really this time because it's a little rushed. So, fair enough. Uh, she's lawful neutral. I'm uh, all the way through Legion. She was motivated by a desire to preserve her at any cost, personal or military. To make her go for kill everything because death is broken is a bit out of left field. I don't think so. That was. I'm guessing that you're pulling that from her life. Oh, there's an ad. Hang on. <laughs> I 
mind. Just noticed Ice didn't have a sub badge, so I don't want to give my pace and then not hear it. Um. Actually, I've already done this, so I should be able to just- there, there we go. Automatic. I got back last time. We're about to find out. Uh, right, okay, ad is over. Um, uh, all the way through Legion, she was motivated by a desire to preserve the Forsaken at any cost, personal or military. To make her go for kill everything because death is broken is a bit out of left field. I'm not sure, I mean, I, what I assume is that you're getting that from the line that she gave to What's-Her-Face who was lying on the ground after she burned the tree. Um, she just kind of yelled at her like, you don't understand kind of deal. Um, but I don't, like, I don't think that she went kill everything because, like, it... So he, here's the thing, right? If you kill as many people as possible and all of that funnels through to the moor and makes Zoval more powerful, that means that he has more power with which to imbue you with, which means that you are more likely to be able to keep your race alive. I don't think it's entirely just losing her mind. Kind of, I genuinely think it's like, that's where that was coming from. Um, it was literally just, like, get get him more power because he's said that he's going to give that to me. Like, simple as that. Uh, but I guess, you know, obviously I could be wrong. <laughs> obviously. But that's kind of what I took away from it. I uh, like that take it seems more Sylvanas that way. Always about her people. Yeah. Well, that's, and that's what she has been the whole bloody time, right? So that's why it made so much sense to me to do it that way. Um, but even the fact that she trusted he was being truthful is a betrayal of her character. She has spent, like you said, she spent the entirety of Legion, right? And it's not just been since Legion. She's been doing this for decades. It may well be to the point that she's desperate. And it wasn't necessarily her trusting him, but more that she had no option. She had no other option. Like she didn't, ha she didn't have a choice because, like, she's r she she's running out of options. Maybe, like, I, I obviously I don't know. I'm not Sylvanas. Uh, <laughs> God, this is this is I don't like this. Am I doing this right? I feel like I'm. Yeah, I. Hey, please. feels like the- oh, is that solid? Can I jump onto it? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? It's- it's not. Oh, hey! Just close enough. Oh, thank god for that. Whew! Alright. Uh, here was another nice follow-up to Shadowlands, which was talking about how everyone would die. Right, okay. Uh, surely there's a dominance factor as well, or perhaps better say an addictive quality which will sort of follow aid the jailer. Mm, no, we haven't seen any runes on her, I don't think. So I don't think, I think she was doing it willingly. 
which is why she was able to so easily lash out and try to bonk him during her own encounter. Like once towards the end of it, where she kind of was like, wait, hang on, I get, wait. And then she drew and really, if she, if she was be if she was under his control, she wouldn't have been able to try to loose an arrow at him. Like look at Anduin, look at how hard he had to fight even to just move an arm a different way. She would not have been able to break it like that and just bang. It's not like, that's not how it works. Um, uh, it feels Sylvanas, you're not Sylvanas. No, I'm not, I have a costume, but I'm not Sylvanas. Um, oh, you're meant to put your selection in that field, not the command, Lucky. Um, oh, there we go, Lich King. Joke. <laughs> it's not a very nice joke. That's <laughs> um be a face or No no, that's okay. Um I would have to go back and refresh myself on that to be perfectly honest. Um I don't recall all the little nitty-gritty details of all that. Um, but I'll I'll go back and have a look. Right, yeah. Yeah. Hi, the sun well. Ah, uh, she's close to Savannah's as I could get. Rel! With the resub. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have to add another bean to the pot. Thank you for the resub. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Ooh, uh, over throwing herself off of the frozen throne onto the spikes below. Uh, her soul was condemned to the moor. She was running out of resurrections by the Valkyrie. She saw no hope for a people without death being broken. There you go. So it's still about her people. That's a thank you channel. That's a really fantastic summary though. Um, so there you go. Is that, does that mean it's still kind of close to her core motivations? In a cave. Ah, oh, small chance to drop from the more frenzied lupine. Where is the cave? <laughs> uh, is it like, it's gotta be down this way, doesn't it? Uh, it was the Sylvanas Loyalist's coda after the final cinematic? Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That is it. Yes! Ah, uh, right. More frenzied lupine. Okay. I don't know how much health it has. This will be fun. At least we know it's up. Oh, this is the magic box room. This is a fun room. I liked this one. Um, next room missing. From what I can see, Savannah's has always been about protecting your people. Yeah, exactly. At the core, one hundred percent. I I agree with that uh, assessment. I agree with that assessment, and that's why people were saying, "Oh my god, she's just all of a sudden gone Bond villain." What the hell? But no, there was purpose behind all of it. There was a reason for every single thing that she did. And and maybe Zoval promised her some, like, you know, her, her delusional kind of, like, maybe this dude can save us, that when he remade the world, that her people would be remade in, in life or something. Like, they'd, you know, have an escape or something like that. Or this was the only way to, I don't know. Look, I'm guessing he told her something she really wanted to hear. But not just like you wanted to hear, but like actually genuinely was desperate for an answer and he gave it to her, whether or not it was the correct one, whether or not it was even slightly truthful, you know? Is this one that I can kill continuously or is it a rare? It can only be killed once a day. Um. Yeah, her main motivation is even as a living elf. Yeah, even as a high elf for protecting her people. Box to be weekly. I don't look into my box to so do anything. That's one of the stories. I believe killed multiple times. I uh, no idea what Sorval offered her. No, no idea. If it wasn't for the protective furthering of her people, I wouldn't believe it. Correct. Correct. I'm sure, and I'm sure she feels like a bloody idiot for it now as well. Like, she made that decision before she got a piece of her soul back. 
to, to draw her arrow and, and loose it in Zoval's direction. She made that decision prior to her getting her chunk of soul back. She realized that he was bullshitting. I think we need to go back and listen to exactly what he was saying during that cutscene, because I have a feeling that's gonna give us the, um, like a clue as to what she, what clicked for her, like th he was lying, you know? But, um, yeah, it's, um, Oh, I didn't get a gen. Oh, the Genesis mode doesn't. It's just a rest one. Okay. Um, but yeah, there is a, the none of the Sylvanas. I mean, some of the Sylvanas books might touch. Uh, some of the WoW books might touch on her, Reese. Like, but there is a specific Sylvanas book coming out soon. Uh, that's been written by Christy Golden, um, and it's entirely it's it's her story. Um, so. Uh, you can farm till it drops. Awesome. And the Frozen Throne. Yeah, there are there are two short stories that are available on Blizzard's website that I would highly recommend. Uh, one of them is called The Frozen Throne, and the other one is... I don't remember what it's called, but it's about Nathanos and him getting a new body because his current one was rotting. And it was after Cataclysm. It explained why he got a new model. Because Nathanos went from like a, st a stock standard undead model to the beautifully rendered creature he is today. Um, and that was explained with a short story. Uh, and I highly, and it, it, it um, reveals a side of Sylvanas that not many people have seen. Because it is fucked up. It is all sorts of messed up. It is all sorts of messed up. And a lot of people who were like, oh my God, you know, she's she's been kind of morally gray, but she's never been evil like this. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. So I highly recommend reading both of those. First of all, uh, the first one, The Frozen Throne details her, um, her deal with the Valkyrie. And then the one from with Nathanos getting a new body is, uh, it's not about her technically, but it reveals a lot about her. Um, so I'd definitely recommend. Uh, how long does it take to complete the Argus campaign? Need this for unlocking the Void Elves. Couple hours? Yish. Uh, I've been having to do it on a few tunes to unlock uh, an ensemble transmog set from Seed of the Triumvirate. Takes a couple of hours. But then again, that's me being distracted by chat and stream raids and stuff like that. So it might take you like a lot less time. Um, especially, obviously, if you max level. I mean, the characters I've been doing this on have been like level 50. So it'll probably be a touch faster if you're if you're maxed. Uh, I should know nothing about Nathanos. Yeah, it's it. There's it's a story. Uh, Dark Mirror, thank you, yes, yes. Um, those are two stories I read um, prior to Shadowlands release, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed both of them. The writing's beautiful. You're very welcome, Fight, not a problem. Um, audio is one trying to find captions. Oval says, I will launch a new reality and all shall serve. That's well, Sylvanas loses. No, it's she's yeah, she's already made the decision by that point. Um, it'll be like I'll need the whole speech. It's fine. I'll look it up later. Um, but yeah, it'll be the whole thing because it'll be something in the lead up to that that makes her realize he's lying, which makes her set herself up and then loses at the perfect moment. You know, with the with the um, thing as it is. But it's fine. Um, I'll I'll find it and listen later. New prediction for a bean. Yum or yuck. Na 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 na. Um, I think it had something to do with Anduin that made Sylvanas change her mind. Yeah, probably. Because even while, um, what's your ultimate favorite bubble tea? That really depends on my mood. I'm not even kidding. Like, 
sometimes I have cravings for something sweeter or more tart or something creamy or do you know what I mean? Like there's there's all these different moods I end up in. Um, I have quite a few favorites. <laughs> it really just depends on whatever I'm craving on the day. Sorry. Um, uh, the, the gingerbread one is pretty bloody good. Pretty bloody good. Uh, but yeah, so even, even when he wasn't like dominated yet when she, when she was trying to convince him to do it willingly there were a couple of moments where she kind of went you know no you have to do you know what I mean so it it like yeah there was there was something already there eating at her mind and then whatever he said during that cutscene just cemented the fact that yeah no he, I'm right my suspicions are correct I need to stop this Uh, so you this, you end up making that apple cinnamon soda stream so Not yet. Not yet. I have not had any time. They're <laughs> doing they show her dramatically looking over at him, yeah. Yup. Uh, Dan, Draz, Thor, Kim, Fairy, Alliance, Goose, Seeker, and Kludgy. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Hey, another map cleared. I thought she was having second thoughts before that. So, oh, absolutely she was. But she was putting them out of her mind. It was kind of that whole self No, no, no. I can't let I can't let this doubt creep in because he's promised me what I've always wanted. Like, you know, it's that it's that whole no, no, I'm I'm making the right decision here. It's fine. Yeah, it's it and I mean, I don't know. I'm sure it probably everyone has been in that kind of a uh, situation and it sucks. Like like second guessing a decision you've made so firmly and all that kind of stuff, it blows. Um, and in the end, she decided that she'd made the wrong decision and she tried to rectify it. Uh, it, it didn't go so well. <laughs> it didn't go so well. Uh, cool, what am I? Orc Slayers. Can I actually place my Orc Slayer again yet? No. So I'm just gonna level our unit. Let's plunk it down here. Awesome. Okay, and then we have Bean. It's pear flavored. We have this. <laughs> Jar of happiness. Um, on the front page. Oh, on the launcher? I know, Seb, how awesome is it? How awesome is that? And to celebrate six years of streaming as well. Beautiful. Um, Nathana Suspicion and Legionese model in BFA. Yeah. Kind of want to try the grape one. It's, the grape one is really good. It kind of tastes like, kind of tastes like purple roll-ups. And their grape flavored, the grape flavored jelly goes really, really well with it too. Obviously, they're both grape. I don't see it, it isn't there. Uh, Savannah's before death slash Banshee comparable to Anduin as characters in their factions morally. We do, I mean, we have a hell of a lot more information about Anduin than we do about Sylvanas pre-Banshee. Like a lot more. Um, but I think Anduin's still too young to have as strong convictions as Sylvanas does because Anduin is still very young. He was a child only a few expansions ago literally a child uh like a like a 16 year old kid you know um so yeah it's all a bit kind of it's all a bit tricky um whereas sylvanas what we know of her she's always been incredibly strong-willed um whereas anduin was a child and everything that comes along with a child growing up in war where his father might be killed at any moment you know it's yeah um, they're very, very, very different characters, but they still have things in common. 
obviously. Self-justification to further her goals through people. Correct. Yep. That's what I think, at least. I don't know whether that's correct, obviously, but these are, these are just my opinions. I have a moment of realization that, nope, this was not going the way it was supposed to. Yeah. Or not going the way that she was told it was going to go. Um, poor Anduin. Yeah. Agreed. Pocka Pocka that hums. Yeah, it's so cute. In the books didn't give us much about her pre-banshee. No, which I'm assuming is what we're going to get in this book, the upcoming one. Uh, and there's a whole Ren. Uh, extra N, but you're close. Uh, legacy through WoW, but Sylvanas doesn't really have much history by comparison, to the best of my knowledge. No, the only, like, so Sylvanas was turned into a Banshee in Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. That was when Arthas became what he was. That's when everyone fell. That's when Sylvanas became a Banshee. And we did not get much info on her before that. Because when you were playing, you were playing as the Alliance. You were playing as Arthas. You were playing as Uther. You were playing as Jaina. So she was the opposition. She was the enemy. So we didn't get really much information on her. Arthas' book gave us a bit. It did. It did. But not much. Not as much as we have on Anduin, for example. <laughs> Lev does say book is the epic definitive story of Sylvanas. Yeah. I'm, I am honestly, I'm going to have to get some. Okay, we have... Hey, when Loki's times five, which means we're going to have five winners for this draw. Uh, so I'm going to reset this. Now, um, these keys are for Wenlo, the mount, just the mount. I know you can buy it in a bundle with a toy, but this is for just the mount, which is this one here. Um, I can't mount in here. It flies. It has beautiful spectral wings. Uh, this is the mount that you would have received if you had a six month sub. So you cannot use this again. You will not get a bonus mount. It doesn't work like that. If you've already got the mount, you will not be able to use this key on your account. End of story. Um, the keys are not region locked. They are they are open to everywhere because they don't include uh, game time. And they have been generously given to me by, by Blizzard ANZ. So thank you so much, Blizzard. They uh, it's This stream is not sponsored. Uh, but they have provided these keys for me to give away. So, when low... Five... Five times when low... Mount codes... Five winners will be drawn. You must be following to win. And you must not have the mount already. This is the six month sub mount. You cannot already have it. It doesn't work. Good. Always open. Um, timeline, yeah. Yeah, it's a while ago. No, she went not into this draw. I'm gonna take it to double check to double check that I'm fine to mention your name if asked. Uh, sure, but if you submit a ticket, they're not gonna know who the bloody hell I am. I deal with Blizzard ANZ. Tickets go to Blizzard headquarters. <laughs> they're not gonna know who I am. Um, uh, keys are region locked, FYI, that's me, so it was indeed US only. Uh, are you sure about that? Because my email from the person who gave me the codes, who generated them, specifically said these keys are not locked. They may not know, like, they might not have access to that kind of stuff, they might be just saying that to cover their butts. Um, my email specifically says these are not region locked. Um, do I think Savannah's help is in the next expansion? Yes, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. We have it. Fantastic, Loza. Awesome. It is a beautiful mount. You did get hit with a sub, Gory. Congrats. Got a six month sub. Have my win low. Fantastic. I don't need to redo the voice changer thing. Nope. I will, I will get to it. Sports response says it was US only code. Okay, because I literally have an email from the person who generated the keys saying that they're not. Um, <laughs> I, I will get in contact with them directly and ask them about it. Um, because, yeah, they are the one who, who made the codes. Like, I, I trust them, honestly. <laughs> I've been working with them for over a year. So, you know. <laughs> the emotes are bloody adorable, aren't they, Gory? Bloody adorable. Uh, right. 
And I went legendary. Fantastic, Scarlet. Fantastic. Australia, that worked for me. Yeah, that doesn't really mean anything because if it's region locked, then it would mean that EU people can't use it, not Australian. So it doesn't really mean much. Okay, so here we go. First one. Is Thor. Let me grab this. These ones I can send straight away because I have all the codes sitting here. So that's what I'm going to do. One. Second one is magic. Magic me. have Tony, Tony Eagle 72, congrats, we have Duplicate Helix, Congratulations. That is you. <laughs> that is you. Uh, and then... I've been in there once. It was great fun. We have CRISPR. Wonderful. Alrighty. Congrats all. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we've got one giveaway left to go for the stream. How batty is that? There we go. One left at the end of stream. Look at that. Congrats, everyone. All right. We'll get this pattern. Schematic thing. That's all. Oh dear. Congrats to everyone. <laughs> ah, well. That's okay. Oi! Whoa. I just stop playing games. Construction stuff starts up. Absolutely. Sure. You guys, great fun. Definitely. Uh, that's the same guy from Carlson Athrio. Interesting wow again. That's okay. You've got your you've got your uh your book to distract you. That's totally fair. You've got something massively exciting on the horizon. Yep. Zymox. Have a look in your adventure guide. Ah, uh, any servers on NA, right? I remember servers used to have the groupings. They do, yeah. Um, I think they might still do for battle groups and stuff. Hey, there we go. Heart Bond Lupine. Fantastic. Uh, what is this one? In a cave. Okay, so we're gonna hop around that way. I can do that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can just be on literally any server. Excuse me, and, um,. You'll be able to jump in with anyone. The only thing is guilds and mythic raiding prior to um, prior to the Hall of Fame being filled. So if those are important things to you that you'd like to complete, then you'll need to pick a server based on that. 
Uh, but if not, then you'll be fine. Okay, and raft! Yes, I sleep on Kittable now, so I'm done. Okay, my brain can fix the problem? Absolutely. Just give it a bit of rest. The, the creative juices will flow again soon, I'm sure. Okay, so we're gonna hook up around to the right. We're gonna head up here, and that's a pet pattern. ATG is gonna be so happy with me when I go turn all these in. So. Oh, I still haven't killed Rixel at all. Well, he escaped from- we didn't kill him in Nathra. Um... We'll just see if he's in. Hi, and Raider. Okay, that was too much! I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Wonderful. Uh, okay, where am I headed? This direction. I'm going to a cave. Where there is a pet inside. Pet uh, schematic, I should say. Uh, thank you very much, Anonymous, for playing Leroy for 50 biddies. Much appreciate. Uh, Squalls of Resurrection, whatever they're called, safe use or do peeps end up doxing each other? Uh, no, it's not a... so much a scroll of resurrection, but it does have your name on it, yes. However, I have got a way around that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're refer it's for, for a friend code these days. It acts as a scroll of resurrection as well. If you've been out of the game for two plus years, um, it'll work to give the person who's referring you the, the bonusy bits. Um, so, I don't know if... Mine expired. Want some of my jungle love? There you go. Okay, cool. So, approach to join by making an alliance character on the realm of Anthul. Right. <laughs> oh, that one's going to expire in like three days. So it should be, um. If you type exclamation RAF, as in like RAF, refer a friend, um, it should have GDAMJ. Let me just double check it. Oh, nope, okay, it's an old one. Good. Uh, let's. I understand why they make it refresh every so often, but god, it's annoying. There we go, fixed. So in case you do decide that you want to use it, um, then all you need to do is pop in RAF. It should work while I'm offline as well. As long as the bot's online, the bot will reply with the code. Uh, or the, the link, I should say. Um, but it, yeah. Uh, if it's off, if the bot's dead, uh, I should be able to fix it prior to the next stream. <laughs> one inside the multi chicken it is it's the one inside this cave good multi chicken okay. 
another couple up here. Backside of a shelf in the lexical grotto requires a teleport ability to climb the shelf. I can do that! I am a, I am a person person. Vinth here! Yay! Where's the chicken? In the cave. <laughs> in the cave. What does a multi chicken even look like? Oh my god. That's kind of adorable. Doesn't look very multi, but I like it regardless. M -m -m multi chicken! You know, like multi kill from. Yep. Who here played Unreal Tournament? <laughs> Uh, saying my where one is ineligible, saying only the starter edition is eligible. Uh, if you've got an active sub, it won't be eligible for... Are we talking about the RAF? The, the referral friend link? Yeah, if you've got an active account, it's not going to work. It has to be an inactive, not paid for account to be able to use the, the link. Uh, if that's what you're talking about. If that's not what you're talking about, please let me know and I will adjust my answer. <laughs> Can't claim the code. Don't have the mount. Keep getting oops. Something went wrong every time. Right. Okay. Um, I will... I've got... We've had a couple of people say that. And I'm going to contact my contact at Blizzard. Uh, and I'll include you on the list of names that are having issues with it. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Um, because I have your names next to which keys I sent you, um, so I can get my contact at players who generated those keys to check those specific keys and just make sure that nothing, like they might have been set, because this stream was supposed to happen two weeks ago, some of them might have accidentally been set to expire quicker or something, like I don't, I genuinely have no idea, um, like I don't have access to that information, but I can send them back to them and just say, hey, these people are having issues, um, just, of course, double check for me that you don't already have the mount, uh, and that, uh, you are using, because I know that there's two different websites for redeeming codes. There's one that is redeeming, like, game time, and then there's one that's redeeming, uh, like, uh, like, uh, mounts and pets and stuff like that. Um, so as long as, you, if you're using the correct one and you definitely do not already have the mount, uh, I can send that information off to my contacts and get them to look at it and get back to me hopefully pretty quickly um, to, to let me know what's going on or if they need more information from you. And if they do need more information from you, I will be in contact with you to get that information uh, because that's what I do. That's what we do. I want you guys to, to get your prizes and enjoy them and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, I'll do everything I can to... Why did that not work? Or did it work? It did work! I got two ciphers the first ones. Why am I getting to do this again? Is it bugged? Eventually, obviously, I'm going to run out of pocket pocket energy, but... I'm getting two ciphers of the first ones each time. broken. Another two.
Another two. Yep, yeah, okay. Lacks the energy to harmonize. That's... Okay! <laughs> what, what am I going to say to that? Interesting. Um... No, I disagree. Because some people want gear that cannot get into or get accepted into a, a guild or a pug for a normal or something like that. LFR is there for people to get gear when they are unable to get it otherwise. Not just to experience the story. If they're going to make a, a mode where they have NPCs fill it out and all that kind of stuff, it should be entirely separate. Entirely separate to LFR again. Because LFR is necessary for people who want the gear LFR's not just there for people to explore the story, but LFR is there for people who want to gear themselves up, but can't, like, do, yeah, it's, yeah. Where is this? The backside of a shelf in the lexical grotto requires a teleport to climb the shelf. The camera is screwy. see anything. Oh! Let's see. Okay. Path, you're available. But yeah, no, LFR does serve a purpose in terms of gearing. It doesn't, it's not just a storyline mode thing. Um, I understand where you're coming from, and I do agree it would be good for people to have access to the, the raid um, without LFR to, to be able to just see the story. But if it's just a story thing and you're relying on NPCs to do the killing, then no gear should drop. Like, that's, yeah. Um, but, just my opinion. Uh, LFR definitely serves a purpose outside of storyline. Um, to duck in little chickens. I kind of want to go back and see Charlie. Ah, uh, this is a stream. Thank you, very welcome. This stream just arrived. Fantastic, Kay. Did let you do them multiple times. Yeah, that was really odd. Like, it's still there. If I had more energy, I could keep going. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I guess LFR was actually pretty achievable of course not everyone can dedicate much time to the game story itself is you without doing the raid right like the end on quest in zm yeah but it's not just about that um it's it's also about seeing the storyline that happens in there and seeing the different characters in there and why they're there like every single boss is not just designed to to be a loot pinata it's literally like this is why they are here this is how they fit into the story this is what we have been doing in the sepulchre and this is why we want the jailer to not be in here. Like, it, there's all the, all that. It's all very purposeful. Nothing's just thrown in there for shits and gigs. Um, and people want to see that, but often they don't want to play with other people. And it is an MMO. And that's what you have to do. Like, <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, but yeah, there is. There are a lot of um, stereotypical kind of things around LFR with things like toxicity and stuff like that um but like yeah it's uh top of a floating tree it says oh it's on top of that of one of those ones okie dokie i see i see thingamabobs There you are. Can I just like get close enough? Yes, I can. Um, 
Always pay the pocket pocket energy. Yeah, absolutely. Even clear, and if it's bugged or working, it's not why I tend to stick to doing it once. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I just wanted to see if there was, like, going to be a number, like, if there was accidentally three or four chests stacked on top of each other, uh, and it was going to, eventually, I'd get to the last one and it would disappear, but apparently not, um, unless there's, like, seven of them stacked. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Oh, I remember about think serious raiders should feel compelled to do LFR just to get extra shots at tier when it's quite painful if you have a regular raid group. I honestly don't think it's that painful. If you have a regular raid group, you can just kind of do your job. And LFR is designed so that if you have at least like five to seven people doing it correctly, you're probably going to be fine. Um, this is, I think this is one that's in here maybe? This is what I was doing before, right? Um... But yeah, all my experiences of LFR have been like, yes, there's a lot of people who die and a lot of people who don't do the right thing or stand in silly things or whatever it happens to be. Um, but, okay, nope, definitely not in here. Uh, but for the most part, as long as me and a handful of other people do the right thing, the boss falls over. Might take a little while longer, but it, it falls over. Energy. The energy if it's the light one and I can't be bothered. Right as a whole, I don't want to potentially put up with jackasses to see the story play out in context. Yeah, I get that, but it's an MMO. Like, this is literally what you signed up for. Like, literally. It'd be different if it was a single player game with a multiplayer mode, but it's not. Um, it's it's genuinely, like, it's, it's an MMO. This is how the game has been designed. Um, How do I? Okay, so there's a treasure that I've already done here somewhere, clearly. Oh, only available during the Froggit World Quest. Okay, I haven't done that one. I just can't get to it because it's not Froggit at the moment. Noted! Okay, that's fine. Um, let's hide the completed chests again. redoing it over and over. Uh, it's it's giving me such a small amount of currency um, that, like, if they rolled that back, it'd be fine. Like, no biggie. But if I'm doing that and they notice a glitch in the code and that's, you know... Oh, then, hey, I've helped them fix something. Uh, uh, Otherwise you can do it. God, it must have broken again. Yeah, that one wasn't a world quest though. I don't think. No, I've still got I've, I've still got the puzzle one up. It's a different place. Um. What are you talking about, Killer? Um. So whatever you were saying was like seven minutes ago. So I'm well and truly gone from wherever you were talking about. Um, I thought the same, make them over and there is no loot slash mods, etc. would arguably detract much from LFR numbers from hearing. I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, and the other thing is that I'm not sure, like, you might, you'd have, like, a very, very small percentage of the player base actually using that, that, um, mode. And how many man hours would they have to put into developing it? You know, it's, it's one of those cost, and uh, cost benefit analysis thingies. Uh, Fiend, Alliance, Fairy, Renton, Ruff, Seeker, Solstice, and Zem, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Onward we go. Big grats, thank you, Serge. Thank you. Uh, I've already done that puzzle, Killer, with this, like, unlocking the chest. I was literally just there to get the scroll. Like, uh, all I'm doing at the moment is, um, 
the schematics for the pets and uh, and mounts and stuff. I've done the vast majority of the treasure chests in Xerath Mortis at this point. I think you may have misunderstood what I was doing in there. Um, go. Eleven A, Jas, fantastic. Really hit spot. Good. Other people in this game. I thought that was a bug blizzard fixed years ago. Oh god. See ya. Brilliant. Um, oh, I got too distracted in where I forgot to place my units. Oh no! It's very achievable. So my dear mechanics can be pushed it. Great level groups, people like the mechanics. You always get those people who don't listen. It's some decent runs. Good last night. Okay. Yeah, like that. Yeah, a lot of people don't bother putting in the effort to help like that because we know that no one's going to listen. Or like two people might listen and it comes at a cost of us doing whatever job that we know how to do. Like it's like most most times in LFR, you're far better off just doing what you know how to do and carrying the rest of the group. Um, <laughs> uh, I feel like you can a race schedule, wouldn't want to potentially let a team down. I had to try LFR today, then goop happened. Uh, it's not common though, even if it's two days after launch, people just face roll through like they expect everyone to know every mechanic and path through so they spent the last two months playing on a PTR, and this has been since LFG, LFD, LFR was added. Very little communication in this MMO. In those ones, there's very little communication, and that's often because it's not needed. Like, it's genuinely just not needed. You can do, you can clear the entire LFR without so much as one word being exchanged between people, because they tune it just so down that it's, it's fine. Um, yeah. As, like I said before, as long as you have five to seven people out of the, out of the, what did I say, uh, out of the 25, you will be fine. Like, it's, it's honestly really, really simple stuff. Um. I personally find that the issue becomes far more when... Um, for me, I find the issue becomes far more when you've got someone who has absolutely no idea what they're doing, trying to raid call. And confusing everybody and telling people the wrong things to do. And that's what causes wipes. Uh, or the person that's third bottom from the damage meters saying, Vote kick such and such because they're on the bottom. Um, that's what causes the issues more than like a lack of communication. But that's just my own personal experience. Um, I've been doing LFR for a, a fair while. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I do still enjoy it though. It's far more fun when I jump in with a group of friends, obviously, especially when I know that that group of friends knows what the hell they're doing. <laughs> we all just go in there and trance it. It's great fun. Uh, so I don't think that I can actually do this. Because I don't think I'm going to have access to all of the runes. Unless... There's another one. The other one is equally awkwardly placed on the other side. I think it is. Good. I was wondering if I needed to get flying to be able to do this one. Um, uh, worst comes to us, I use Red Finder and look for groups who are willing to teach and there are options out there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, stuff like Perky Pugs as well. Uh, don't ever forget about Perky Pugs. They, are, they run regular raid teams uh, through Normal and later on through Heroic. Uh, and they explain everything as they go, pretty much every time. Like, they're really, like, that's the whole point. It's a learning raid. Um, and they're really clear about that from the get-go. Highly recommend applying to that if you can. I know some of it's really awkward timing for Australian folk, just because of time zones and stuff. Um, but it's, it's a good option. Um, start your own degree. That's the reason I quit 
16. I either enjoy playing it with that, that aspect or I just don't play it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, I've seen Alpha give stacks of 5% damage and healing now so it makes it easier. Eh, you'd think so. <laughs> but when people are actively working against the rest of the group to try to, you know, cause disharmony and get people to kick other people and stuff like that, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't. Um, six stacks, interesting. Uh, okay, so I've got three. Are all three of the other ones in the other little area? I feel like that's wrong. I think I have to just kind of run around until the others respawn or something. There's the vault. That has a lot of health. I'm gonna avoid that as best I can. Oh, there's one. And there's another one. So that'll give me my five stacks. And there's the vault. Got my four. Where is the sixth? That's it. I've got both sides, and then I got the one over there and the two here, so that's five. Oh, that's a big tooltip. <laughs> Where's the... There's more syllabic recall in a bit. Um, yep, totally fair. Uh, the other thing is, what you can do if you want to be in there and you've done a little bit of research yourself and you're feeling confident enough that you know most of the mechanics to do it yourself, um, in your chat settings, you can move your instance chat, your party chat, your raid chat, your whatever the hell you want to call it, um, into a different tab, into a different chat tab down the bottom, and then just click off it. Click into your combat log or something. Uh, and that way you'll be able to see, you won't be able to see what people are saying and what, what's happening in chat, and you can just do your job. Do what you know that you're supposed to do, get it done, and then get out. If, if it's really, like, if it's causing that much of an issue for you, you can you can hide the chat. Uh flex on we can't god. Everyone uses details these days, don't they? I don't know, I haven't used damage meters in five years, six years, something like that. It's been a while. Alright, I think there must be one down here. Yes! There is! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's half a million health. Oh shit. I think we're up to go. Oh dear goodness gosh. What are you? You're a beast. Oh, and it's immune to Polly. God damn it, I lose all the buffs. <sighs> all right. <laughs> all, all right. I see what you did there. Oh god. Okay. Good. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay, so this one actually has a chance to drop the what's it? So the the yellow frogs can drop the uh the mount recipe. Gold plate buffinib. Uh mission fantastic. Um, oh yeah, oh for sure, but like they don't know that. They have no idea who you are. And like, okay, whatever, you know, like, there's no way for them to know who you are. Um, 
dungeon and a guild other class people high level content I can do if I choose to. Yep, absolutely, and that's totally fine. That's uh, that's the case for like a lot of players. Potentially, even maybe the majority of players, but I'm not too sure. I'm not a hundred. I'm not totally sure on that stat. That Discord for years. Yep, ditto. You sometimes forget I'm in their Discord. The three hardest worst ones, I think. I know about the center. Yep. What I do play Horde. Yes. Pain is like, uh oh, <laughs> I know what's coming. I did get frogs when I had with the big one. Um, maybe, like, if you want to. Ancient Hopper. And I'm like, oh, I can polymorph it and get a note. Nope. Nope. This gracious. Oh, dear. I mean, this isn't super duper important. Did you get a toy, though? anyone wants to come get a toy. <laughs> and there's a couple of um, pet uh, thingamajigs here too. Pet patterns and uh, um, Um, yeah. Can I play? Yep. Totally fair. Absolutely. Not all content is for everyone. Like, you gotta just do the parts you enjoy. That's literally, yeah. That's, uh, that's it. That's it. There's a chance to get a schematic in these ones. That. Ooh! Right, of course. Chris first. What's it? So that's crossed one of them off the list out here. Hidden under the water next to the ancient hopper. That doesn't make me nervous at all. Other side. <laughs> Under the water next to the ancient hopper. What? But like behind the little platform. and Biston data hidden under the water next to the ancient hopper. I don't see it. I can say it's up that way though, so... Change to a gear. Are you sure?
Oh, good lord. Do you, yeah, just look. Now I can see it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, lord. Oh, good lord. <laughs> That's fun. No wonder Jess enjoys, like, pulling ridiculous amounts of things and nearly dying. That was actually really, like, thrilling. <laughs> um. I could have sworn, no, you were absolutely right, Apathy. You were absolutely right. Good, like, good catch. I am impressed. Good bloody catch. Oh, I'd sloth, yas! I love it. Well done. Well done. Good catch. Requires mining, yet is beast, sure. Alright. Grab my runic syllable. Then we're gonna head up this way. Try not to pull anything as we thread the eye of the needle. The entire island too. That does not surprise me, channel. <laughs> that does not surprise me that it has no leash distance. Uh, anyone have a microscope? What we yeah? Oh, it was teeny tiny, hey. Eh? Did it stream not the rain? Of course, of course. I hope you're okay, okay. Like stay safe, yeah. Um, so you do, I do, sometimes. All for the rain, ancient hawk is specifically scarier than the rare look, whatever spawns over there. <laughs> yeah, because everyone comes here for that one, so it's not like a, like everyone, everyone jumps in together. Hunter life, just fain death, also tamed that rare frog, well done, go you. For you. Alright, this is number three. And then I'm gonna hook around. I love that you can stay mounted. That's great. And then we're gonna hook around to the other side to number four. <clears throat> I have so many quests to hand and I love this. It's beautiful. I'm trying not to pull anything and I just did. Woo! Just keep running, just keep running, 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 just keep running. I can change my trinket stat prop by eating stat food. Yeah, but your, your stats must be super close, Jess. Makes sense. Stat food, bacon, yum. I imagine he means in-game stat food. I don't think they've introduced Tim Tams just yet. I'm sure there's like chocolate biscuit, but bacon gives the yummy stat. Yummy buff. Belly full of tasties buff. <clears throat> oh, second story. The rain. Ah, jump and shut the window. Yeah. Because the rain will come in the window and wet all of your expensive things like tech. The number of times it's been like bucketing down and Jas has been at work and I've sent him a message been like, oh my god, this heaven's just opened, it's raining really heavily. And then like half an hour later I get a text, hey, could you close my window? Half of the bed, wet. <laughs> Any charges sitting on the bedside table, wet. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna hop out here and let that dude shuffle along and I'm gonna grab the one behind first. Just be careful you don't get too close unless you want to pull it. I mean we probably could kill it. Hmm. Yeah sure why not. For the alliance. Um change the space. Put him bam now it's crit, that's awesome. Yeah your your stats must be like super close here. Eh? I'll soak my bed. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Which was good. Maturity level. Yep. Yeah, my old timers go with me. 
Polar and Asher. Look, there are definitely like a lot of guilds out there that are de like more for the chill times and stuff. Um, and having the guild finder in game, like as an in game tool, has definitely helped with finding guilds that are going to be more along your lines. Um, but obviously, um, teach their own. That's totally fine. Hey! Bam! The shield is gone. Toy gets! Doodly doodly do. That one did not work on that one. I'm gonna log. No worries. Thank you so much for your help. Greatly appreciate. Um, right. So those two are actually in the raid. This one has a small chance to drop from accelerated buffonids, uh, which are the yellow, these ones, the yellow frogs. Uh, and there was a space where two yellow frogs spawned, but no, like, aggro enemies spawned. So I think I'm going to go there. And they seem to be a pretty quick respawn as well. So I think I might give that a go. So it's things just how it works. Oh, one halfway to KSM on this turn. Well, that's pretty impressive, Jas. Well done. Tell me I can possibly kill you. She doesn't care about your stats, Proxy. Most recent food buff, there you go. Noted. Have a half the fear attempts for group. Well, hopefully, you don't reach the fear attempts for group. Hope you don't get that up that high on the thing of jigs. Exactly where the schematics in the raid are. Brilliant. Instead of you to face them, it's a troll that's technically halfway. Is there any here too? Ooh. Kill you, but they don't tickle either. Mm -hmm. Wish it would rain here. Mm. You can definitely take some of ours, just. Um, I live in Brisbane, and we just finished flooding, so uh, you yeah, know we we could we could use not much more rain. Uh, water levels are back down to normal though, which is really good, uh, even with the release of the dam and all that kind of stuff. So that's a positive, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was it was an unpleasant time. It's an unpleasant time. I finished flooding for now. Mm. There will there will be more floods. It's Brisbane. There will be more. Okay, they're not respawning as quickly as I thought they would. But that's okay. Hang out for a little bit more. See how long they take. <clears> hmm. <throat> Super fun times. Super Discord chat. Fair enough. Yeah, those kind of trinkets, uh, like, they're really, really funky, but they tend to confuse, like, so much conversation, eh? <laughs> Especially when people start having like all their uh, what's its theories on how it works and stuff, and then it's totally different. Fun fact for you: Who be watching the story is my sister. Ah, she's the reason I joined stream today. I think I'll be sticking around. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Jess. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm. I'm. It's fantastic. You've been having a good time. That's all I want. You know, is to provide some entertainment. Maybe make some people smile, if we can. Or feel. Feel something is good too. Sometimes we have some really heavy discussions um, about a variety of topics, but like, think, feel, smile, all good things. Good to have you here. Exactly. Absolutely, Kay. Absolutely. Happy to have you here. This is taking a lot longer to spawn than I thought it would. <laughs> Um, it might be worth doing a rotation of some kind going around the place, but at the same time, I don't really want to go anywhere near the, uh, hostel mobs. As soon as she found Nemo yet, oh no. Casual cannibalism, don't forget cannibalism, correct. Casual discussion of cannibalism. We do not partake in casual cannibalism here. We do not eat. 
name. She's Dorian. I'm Nemo. That's cute. That's cute. Hello. What was that? Do I have someone, like, following me to help me? Or is that just, like, a weird random thing? Um, Shadowlands was after Battle for Azeroth, yeah. Uh, keep swimming. Let's eat grandma versus let's eat grandma. Proof that punctuation saves lives and prevents cannibalism. Correct. Correct. Maybe the Shadowlands. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dearie me. Fuck, I came last. Oh, it was Arcane Explosion. I did it because I saw a critter, like a, a. It looked like an evil broker with the flame, the red flame coming out of its head. But like a ghosty thing with no nameplate or anything next to me. And so I. It, Arcane exploded and it ran away. It disappeared. I wonder if you hit the button, you'd be able to see it. Like, if you rolled back the VOD a little bit, you might be able to see what I'm talking about. Just by a couple minutes. Oh boy. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the arcane spells sound very similar. Kind of helps you identify what school of magic you're dealing with. I kind of like it. Oh, excuse me. These just don't want to respawn, do they? Noted. Not a good place to farm the, the buff heads. Although it does look like most of these are, um, like, distracted by each other. So I might be okay in- oh, there it is. Cheeky little cache. Between two- yeah, yep. Rusty's agreed. Waiting on respawn. Potentially. Yeah. Hi, the Sunwell. Ah! Barum, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you very much for the well wishes. Much appreciated. So kind of you. I'm gonna add a bean to my pile, and these beans are gonna get munched like tomorrow and stuff, I think. Question. 
would you rather I do the predictions for every bean, or would you rather I actually get through them, like, quicker, and, like, eat, and then spit out if it's bad, and blah, 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 and, like, just get them done, or would you rather me be forgetful and accidentally take entirely too long while doing the predictions and stuff? Question for chat. Those being boozled? They are. They are. And I've had a few nasty ones today. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing predictions for yum or yuck. And people can like decide whether they think it's going to be good or bad or whatever. Um, but I always set it up and then I forget when the time is up. And then, so I'd actually have to sit here and like watch it and then eat and then spit out and then start the next one and watch the timer go down and then eat. And do you know what I mean? Like to get through them. And I'm happy to do that. Um, but otherwise I get just distracted by stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> Works for you. All right. Noted. Noted. Na 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 Because yeah, I've got a fair few and we'll get through them tomorrow because we do have a stream tomorrow. Um, can mods do predictions? They can, but then they can't like, like vote in them. And I know that Shiva and Jas really like voting in them. Um, hey sec, doing well, thank you. Uh, towards the end of a marathon stream today, uh, Ruff, Vaka, Draz, Fiend, Ali, Zam, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit, and it is just past ten. This, that was our final, our final one. Battle is not in progress, the battle is finished. And we have our last giveaway. We have our final slip of paper from the Jar of Happiness. And we are giving away some pins. In fact, actually, who here, is anyone here like a pin collector? I don't collect pins. Um, I've never like, I don't know, I collect enough stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm borderline a hoarder, borderline. So um, I, I need to not collect more things. Um, but I know a lot of people, especially in the gaming community and like fandom communities and stuff like that, tend to really like collecting pins uh, to the point that like Paxos, I'm sure the other Paxos do too, always have like a set of pins that you can purchase each year that are collectibles. Uh, I know they do them for BlizzCon, all that kind of stuff. Like pins are a really big thing in, uh, in, in the gaming world, apparently. I never knew this until I started watching things like BlizzCon and stuff like that. But um, there you go. Uh, so... So pin board, best thing about packs. Religiously collect all pins. Pins are nice. Awesome. Um, well, I have a set of pins that I don't believe these can be purchased. I don't believe these can be bought. Uh, these are from the Twitch ANZ Bitfest last year. And uh, this is what they look like. So we've got... Um, they're all, they're all the, like, the standard squeezy back things. I know that's a thing with pin collectors, like, what the type of backs they have and stuff, but I'm, I'm sure that you could put whatever backs you want on there. I'm going to leave it sealed, so I'm not going to pull them out. I'm going to get keep my, my fingerprints off them, because, uh, you know, try my best to ship things out in good condition. Um, so the top one there is a koala. It's a very pale purple koala, because Anne said. And this one down the bottom is a kiwi. Um, he's kind of rotated, so I think he's supposed to go, like, where's his feet? Like, that way. He's a kiwi with a hat on and a pair of yellow sunglasses. Okay, that's for the New Zealanders, so koala for the Aussies. New Zealanders a kiwi. Uh, you got the glitch pin, obviously, and this one here is meant to be that way around. Um, it's a bit, because it was for Bitfest. Uh, but there are now, I believe that there are enamel pins. There's no information on here at all whatsoever, but I'm, I'm fairly sure that they're metal um, and enamel pins. Uh, I can't see the back of the pins. You know how they have like a stamp on the back that kind of tells you what they're made of and stuff? I can't see that because they're up against a card, obviously, so I can't give you information on that. But, pins. <laughs> That's what we're giving away. That's what the last prize of the day is. I don't believe that you can purchase these from the Twitch merch store. I'm pretty sure the only way to get these was to pass the, the, the certain level in the ANZ Bitfest 
last year. Maybe they did have a, a they, this was the second bit first they run. Maybe they, maybe they had the pins available for the first one as well. I'm not sure. Um, so unless partners are giving them away or are selling them on eBay, I'm pretty sure those are the only ways to actually get your hands on these pins. I'm pretty sure they're pretty bloody exclusive. So, shall we run a giveaway? Because I own these and they are here in my hands, uh, this is not a region locked giveaway. Uh, anyone from anywhere can enter. They're pretty light, they're pretty small. I'm hoping that shipping will not cost me $312. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know about things like customs and stuff. I, I don't know, but I'm happy to write on an import slip and stuff. They, they are a gift, they're literally a gift, they're a giveaway. Um, so, uh, fingers crossed they should get through customs. I mean, they are pointy on the back, but I don't see any world in which these would be considered a weapon. I'd, look, I don't know. I'm, I'm overthinking this, clearly. Uh, so, Twitch, ANZ, Bitfest, pin set. Um, so, not region locked. Um, excuse me. Uh, not sponsored by Twitch. They sent these to me as prizes from Bitfest and I'm choosing what to do with them. So this has got nothing to do with them. They have not given them to me to be used in this manner or anything like that. This is my own choice. And uh, the postage is coming out of my pocket. So that's like all the disclosures, golden. Let's open that giveaway. Must be following to win, exclamation giveaway in chat. Is it cute? Is it really cool? They are adorable, but I am i am very much not a pin person. If I was, I would have several thousands of issues. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's okay. Like, I'm not saying that people who collect pins have issues. I'm saying I would have several thousand issues because I would likely have several thousand pins and nowhere to put them. Good. Thank you for allowing me to clear that up. I'm very sorry for anyone who was offended by that statement. Not my intention at all. Um, yeah, they're really cool. They are very, very cute. They look like enamel. They are, I believe that they are enamel. Like, they certainly look like enamel. Like, I can obviously look at them from many different angles. They look like they're enamel pins. Um, and they look like they're, they're I'm pretty damn sure they're made of metal as well. Like, they, they have the heft to them that makes them feel like metal. Uh, they're not heavy, but I can, they, they're heavier than, like, little bits of plastic. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're metal and enamel. Um, but I can't tell for certain, so I need to make sure that that's a, yep. Uh, you're gonna post your mouth and say, good. I'm glad, Kay. I'm glad just pulling numbers roughly out of the air. It's been great. Challenge accepted. No! No, I, look, <laughs> I need the money for dentistry. This is a, but I've set aside a budget. I've been putting aside money for this event for literally months now to cover the gift cards and the potential postage and all that kind of stuff. Fullers don't make postage three hundred and twelve dollars, <laughs> cause that would really that would really hurt me. Um. Ah, uh, she has there's another issue with badges. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, it's a person sending it rather than a company as well, though. So they they seem to critique those a bit more. Um, dozens of cats are better. Just deeply offended. Glad to hear it, Lucky. Yeah, I have many issues. Oh God, don't we all? Don't we all? Not a pin person either. Won't enter. Good luck to the. Ah, oh, very kind of you, Raoul. Very kind of you. I used to collect Smarties caps. Oh, cute. Super cute. All right. Dupe. Dupe has done a win. Dupe has done a win. Where are we? Congratulations. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Blinks. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations. Uh, and congratulations to everyone who has won prizes today. It's still in my work line yet. Of course, of course. I think it, sometimes it's a little bit different when it's like a, a thing that you've gone to, like an event that you've actually... It's like my, my PAX t-shirts. Like, I don't... Um, yeah, it's it, that, there's a reason I didn't... Like, I didn't buy a, a twenty twenty pack shirt even though they had them available nor did I buy a 2021 pack shirt because I didn't attend the event I, I did some of the stuff online and all that yeah sure but I didn't for me it's a commemoration of an event that I attended and went to and all the memories of the people I met and the, the food I ate and all do you know and the games that I played the developers I met 
all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, getting getting pins to commemorate that kind of an experience is one thing. Um, for I imagine, like for some people, but yeah, I uh, I don't know. I do, I do have a couple of pins that I have from from here and there. I've got a couple from streamers um, that I met and like you know we exchanged fun stuff. And uh, a couple of pins that I've gotten from uh, game booths uh, where I've really thoroughly enjoyed the, the game that they've been doing, uh, the game they've been de developing. And so they've been like, oh, do you want a pin? I'm like, actually, yeah, this is a super cute pin. Um, so I've grabbed it, but I'm not like a, a collector as such. And that's okay. You know, everyone has the things that they love. I, I collect mounts and they I don't have to find space for them in my wardrobe. <laughs> It is what it is. Congratulations to everyone who has won prizes. I'm so glad that I was able to give away so much stuff. It genuinely makes me so bloody happy to be able to bring smiles to so many people's faces. Um, and I've had a blast today. Never mind that two thirds of stream was spent fishing up strange goop. We'll just ignore that part. Uh, <laughs> I've had a blast uh, and not just today. I've had a blast for six bloody years and two weeks and a couple days, but it, that's fine. Six years. Here's to six more and more. 60 more? I think I'll be streaming when I'm 92. I think I'll be alive when I'm 92. Actually, honestly, with the autoimmune, probably not. <laughs> that's a terrifying thought. Let's move on. Thank you so much to everyone for, for coming out, for supporting, for entering giveaways, for getting all hype about stuff that I was really worried. Like, I honestly was like, are people going to want this stuff? And everyone just lost their, their minds over everything. And I'm just, oh, you've made my heart so full and so happy. And I am so ridiculously lucky to have you lot as my community. Like, I couldn't ask for much better. I, like, genuinely. I, I might be biased, but I, I reckon this is probably the best community on Twitch. Not gonna lie. And everyone's gonna be offended by that because everyone's got favourite streamers, and that's fine. I just... This is the first place in the entire world that I felt like I truly belonged. So thank you. I'm gonna go to bed before I get really mushy. <laughs> ah, before I get really, really, really mushy. Okay. Whew. All right. Um. Where are we going? Do you guys love them? Yes. Thank you very much for a fun day. All the giveaways. You're very welcome. Congratulations to all of the winners. Yes, absolutely. It's hella fun. I'm so glad. I'm so. I wish I could do this kind of stuff every day, but like, you know. Cash. <laughs> it's a thing. Um, my past in the first and second. I've got all my badges, all my PAX badges, all three of them still hanging up. I don't know, it's like the game bar. Yeah, so many card stickers. Etc. Yeah, everyone trading all of their stuff. Uh, and makeup. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Jesus, uh, guys. Thank you. 900 attempts, a random number of attempts to go. You will get there, Kay. I believe in you. Oh, too late. I can't snooze the ad. Damn it. We uh, wait to end stream. <laughs> Fear will download you into a robot or something. I don't know if I want that. I'll have to think on that. Interesting. Poker fear. <laughs> fear pock. Nah, it doesn't. Nah, yeah, yeah. Poker pock. Poker, poker fear. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm assuming it's something in the lines of congratulations or happy anniversary. Um, <laughs> I think that might be French, potentially. Get you closer six years out. Absolutely. Uh, next big huge event from my end that I know is going to be planned. I don't know about like other stuff. Um, June, end of June, anniversary of my partnership. What's the get it? You are, you are. Another six years or more, exactly. <laughs> to bed and you're still alive. Yep, 12 hours, sleep well. I will, I will. Uh, yeah, fan Logitech fangirl since I was little, right? Gosh, it's just over a year ago. No, almost a year ago. Not not quite a year ago yet. That competition closed early, early, early May. So we're almost a year out from that. Thank you, guys. 
thousand years of stream. Yes! Go to bed now. Yes, of course you can, fairy. Of course you can. Of course you can. All right. Uh, I'm going to find somebody to raid. <clears throat> um, when did we... Well, yeah. Okay, good. Because this person has been such incredible support. And... Love them dearly. Grab this. Alright, are we out of the raid? Uh, out of the raid. Out of the ad. Okay, we've got like seven seconds to get out of the ad. Let me just let that time out and then we'll uh we'll do the thing. See ya. Thank you, Neke. Thank you so much. Six whole years. Let's kick on to number seven, shall we? Alrighty, here we go. Uh do this one. Boop. And then do nope. Wrong slash. I there we go. Enough. And then I'm gonna go Twitch raid. Indeed, K. Indeed. As you mentioned, we always give you some. You were. You were. I need sleep too. It's totally fine. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote because you are not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, either of which is totally okay and totally fine, uh, you can. Uh, delete, copy paste the entire message, delete Fiamma Hype, and place in your favorite Happy Hypey Celebratory emote, or one of your favorites of the new emotes we had today. Up to you. Uh, I drop it into Barry's chat when we get there. Uh, tomorrow is Exmog Hunt. Transmog. It's Transmog Hunting. Uh, plus eating the beans that are left. It's gonna be great. Uh, Monday's Mount Farm Monday. More 9.2 story on the 16th on Wednesday, and then Classic Ashran on Friday, which loops us back around to Saturday, where there is gonna be no stream. Saturday is my day off usually. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you tomorrow for Transmog Hunting. All the love. Mwah. Bye guys.